This is a download from Triple J. For more music, current affairs, comedy and culture, triplej.net.au. And now... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, shareholders and schoolies, 2020 summer tears and policy wonks, F1 freaks and V8 mates, budget buffs and union leaders, horse strappers and jockeys with an illegal weight loss drug in the system, climate change sceptics, Japanese whalers, Beijing bound Olympians packing extra freight, wanting to hook up with jockeys with weight loss gear, muffin top. Afghani bound diggers, dream teamsters, and big V buffs, IPL cricket tragics, backpacking tourists, rabbit lovers, Brisbane carnival punters, late male experts, cat lovers, still celebrating the big 07 winners, and wooden spooners. Welcome to Rugby League's Night of Night. Welcome to State of Origin in 2008. Welcome to the very top shelf of Rugby League. Welcome to a celebration of 100 years of hate. Welcome to the greatest game in the greatest game of all. Welcome to another night of mutual disdain. Welcome to the Queensland Maroons versus the New South Wales Blues. Welcome to the legacy of Jack. Tonight, in the legacy of Jack, we celebrate the life, the times and the contribution to rugby league of the world's very first super coach, Jack Rupert Gibson. No one loved the game more than Jack. No one understood the game better than Jack. No one could see the potential of rugby league more clearly than Jack. Before Jack Gibson bellowed, rugby league is the one for me. The greatest game of all was a magnet for bent coppers, psychopathic murderers, insane arsonists, substandard tradies, carpetbaggers, violent hoods, stone thugs, smashed dipsos, investment shysters offering up to 70% return on every dollar, used car salesmen with nothing but lemons to ship, bankers on the run, cellar-dwelling drug dealers, bar specialists, car Sharp fraudsters with an ace in the hole, racetrack touts, sexual <laughs> deviants, and those who took happy snaps of them and sold them to school kids, public toilet loiterers, and the woozy raincoat brigade. As a result, the game had little support from state or federal governments or those in power representing the pillars of society. Rugby League was given the swerve by respectable institutions like Ozcare, the RSL, the Colombo Plan, CSIRO, the SCG Trustees, or Australia's respected Antarctic Division. Rugby League was the last refuge of the scum and the dregs of society. It was into this hellhole of untreated sewage, vomit and stink that Jack... Rupert Gibson struck. The big fella could see that without massive changes, the code could not survive in the television era. The game was doomed to be marginalised as an entertainment catering only to misfits, stinkers, spibs and perverts. But Jack Gibson could not get enough of the caper. He was quoted in Rugby League Week in June 1962 in a cover story saying, I love Rugby League. Jack could see a golden future. He assembled a dream team and went to work tidying up the code with a plumber's mate, a dunny brush and a bottle of Harpic. The dream team Jack gathered around him included top sewage experts like the hero of Rock's Drift, Big Dud Beatty, the 60-minute man, Big Artie Beatson and gentle giant, Big Ron Massey. These blokes were not 
perverts. They were clean living, fit Australians who managed to infiltrate normal society, but secretly. They could never fully disguise their rugby league roots or their profound love of the greatest game of all. Big Dud Beatty was a brilliant fitter and turner who suggested to Jack the concept of accurate timekeeping. This was an idea Dud had sat on for 40 years, believing Jack was the only man he'd ever met who would understand the importance of preparing all teams to play rugby league for exactly 40 minutes in each half. Big Artie Beatson suggested to Jack out of the blue in the front bar of the bat and ball in March 1966 that players make time in each training session to practice passing the ball to each other as they ran up and down the paddock. Jack was blown away and punished Beatson by demoting him to the Jersey Flick competition for eight seasons. But Artie would not shut up. And after eight flag flags on the trot with Artie as skipper, Jack was forced to ask Big Artie what his secret was. And the rest, they say, is history. Big Ron Massey turned up at training with a witch's hat for the first time in May 1968. Jack Gibson, ever the fun-loving gangster, forced Big Ron to wear it on his head for three seasons. Jack, as a joke and to make Ron feel stupid, developed a training drill that had the first grade squad run around a stationary Big Ron wearing the witch's hat. Jack noticed an immediate improvement in the team's lateral defence at speed when forming the defensive line. After a decade, Jack reluctantly suggested that Ron should take the stupid thing off. And over time, Big Jack introduced a series of innovations which completely revolutionised the game, including training on Tuesday and Thursday night, practice drills in grounding the ball over the try line, the wearing of football boots at training, and most famously, the introduction of the clipboard. The clipboard was an idea that Big Jack picked up on an end-of-season trip to the States where he was special guest of the top NFL side, the Dallas Cowboys. While Jack picked up ideas like the clipboard on his six-month trip, many rugby league historians argue that it was Jack who introduced witches' hats into American football. And there were other Gibson innovations, including the pinch test to track body fat, the wearing of tracksuit pants to keep warm after a training, the use of makeup to fool opponents, the introduction of the kick or the bomb, as Jack dubbed it, as an attacking weapon, the wearing of underpants when in civvies, showering after the game, and the use of the hyperbaric chamber to aid recovery from rugby league injuries. Jack built the first hyperbaric chamber in the world with parts from an old early cooker stove, a busted Kelvinator fridge and the motor from a light burn concrete mixer. But Jack's greatest innovation was a simple one, that all players should have real jobs. This innovation, sadly, is no longer part of the game. These ideas are taken for granted in modern rugby league. But it was Big Jack Gibson who thought of them first. The big bloke was a man of very few words. Parramatta centre Mick Cronin, known as the Crow, was only spoken to once by Jack in three seasons of premiership winning football. And that was when Jack mumbled, see you later, Crow, as Jack left the club for the final time. When asked to say a few words by a deliriously happy club president after a hard-fought grand final, Jack, in a very expansive mood, famously mumbled, We done it, blokes. <laughs> but that was Jack. And tonight's two teams with one dream celebrate the legacy of Jack with this 2008 State of Origin Clash. State of Origin number two, live. From the brimming cauldron of Lang Park, 
etches another page into the 100 years of a rugby league history. Game two always has a touch of Shakespeare about it, but it's still the age-old drama of the New South Wales Blues and the Queensland Maroons packing down at the highest level of the greatest game of all. And to call all the action of mate against mate, state against state, date against state in this rat-infested hellhole are those two trusted biographers of Big Jack and curators of the Gibson legacy worldwide. Yes, it's those two rugby league piss artists out on day release, Roy Sicko Slavin and HG The Pearl. Nelson, are you there? Oh. Uh, yes, uh, thanks very much indeed. Uh, King Wally Otto in the soundproof booth and no one loves their rugby league like the King Fat. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Belinda Neal, Freaks, Bowser Price watches, thinking about a hybrid motor, underbelly buffs, new million-dollar wheel watches with a pro pulp mill agenda, ice truckers and World Youth Day devotees, plus all loony maroon nutbags, rednecks, and anyone who loves giving a cockroach a long squirt with a bag on, and who doesn't love doing that? Great fun, and great fun tonight, because we welcome you one and all, once again, to State of Origin in 2008. Welcome to a celebration of 100 years of hate. Welcome to the steaming porridge pop that is Suncorp. Welcome to the Queensland Maroons v the New South Wales Blues. Welcome to the Legacy of Jack, part two. Yes! League lovers, tonight is a night when once again the great game of rugby league, a game that is packing down in this well, its 100th year, will once again be played for the highest principles on the planet. Those principles are peace through violence, harmony through physical brutality, and of getting everyone on the planet to shut up and be just like us or they'll cop a good kicking. In a few minutes' time, two sides will emerge from the tunnels of Tiff here at the Porridge Pot and begin spreading the 2008 love and violent message around the steaming cauldron. As this great game, Rugby League, gives the world what it longs for, peace and war at the same time in an equal measure. Now, if you've been locked in a cellar in Germany for the last 20 years or camped out on the far side of the planet Coosbane, let me fill you in. The Queensland Maroons, coached by Mal Meninga and captain by Call Me Cam, Cam Smith, will tonight take on the New South Wales Blues captain by Danny Butterbottle and coached by the Underbelly Bellamy. The Blues are one up in this year's best of three series. The Maroons have to win tonight to keep the series alive. My very good friends for perfect courage of hostilities, tickle your TV to the Rugby League channel down your end of the swamp, turn down the sound and turn up Triple J. But remember, Australians, we are working in a digital divide. When is government, federal government, going to do something about the fucking problem? rather than pissing off with other policies that no one gives a fucking guff about. Sadly, there is bugger all we can do about it. The divide means that Triple J listeners will know, just in advance of the TV pictures, what will happen. Some bright sparks can slow the sound down, so they may be wise to do so right now. And remember, my very good friends, sadly this evening there's no online coverage. Repeat, no online coverage. And now, to complete the preliminaries, can you give a very warm welcome... To my colleague in league this evening here behind the card table on the uh, sideline of the steaming porridge pot. I'm referring, of course, to rampaging Roy Sicko Slavin. Roy, it's great to be back at Suncorp. The atmosphere tonight is electric. Is the Cauldron the best venue for rugby league in the world? I think it is, Ashley, and hello everyone across the world. Uh, I've always loved Lang Park. I love the atmosphere and I love the violence it engenders. I love it. It brings out the best in the players. And Willie Mason has led the way in this regard by suggesting that tonight is going to be a stink fest. A stink fest? A stink fest. Well, can I just say we haven't seen a stink fest in the best part of 20 years, so it'd be great to see one tonight. I'd like to see... You know, we, we called for broken noses last, last uh, in Origin 1. We got one broken nose. I'd love to see four or five tonight, mm-hmm. at least four or five broken noses, genuine broken noses, not just a love tap. No, not a, a bit of claret oozing from the nostrils. No, I mean a genuine bloody... Smeary! A four-stick job. A four-stick job. A four-stick job. Wouldn't that be That's wonderful? That's what we want to see. see. <laughs> yes. And I wouldn't mind a couple of... I want to see the St John's Ambulance people involved. Mm-hmm. Can I just say that? I love seeing their work, and everybody does too. Mm-hmm. And I love seeing that... Uh, 
you know, special uh, bloody uh, golf buggy that they send out there. Oh, the, for players the who have neck injuries. Oh, that's fantastic. And People love that. They do, they do. They love to see modernity coming to rugby league they in the game. They do. Roy, why does he go on like this? You and I have had our disagreements with the new face of the Eastern Suburbs, Willie Mason, over the years. Yeah. This year, in the paper today, the stink is on. The only person who thinks the stink on is, is going to be on in the whole of Australia is stupid old Willie. Well, can I just say that one of the few people in the world at the moment who could, gen- who could genuinely bring on a stink would be Willie. It's in his power, yes. which is what I said to him. I said, I said, stink up, stink on, you beauty, Willie. It's up to you to bring it on, fella. And there'd be a lot of people who'd be very proud of you if you did. And how did he respond, Roy? A bit he, silent? He gave me the thumbs up and said, yeah, I'll give you a steamer. Oh, yes, now. Which I figured to mean he was going to put on a stink. Was he awake when he said these yes, things? Yes, he was. Oh, totally awake. Look, I tell you what, just on this matter... I was taken deli- by some delightful comments in the paper today mm. from Mr. B. White. Mr. B. White said... Is this Barry White, the singer? No, no, He no, loves this, his rugby league. This is Mr. Brent White, the uh, well-known forward. Oh, I see. Uh, for the New South Wales and... Oh, Brent White, rather. Sorry, and before you, j- j- yes. just before you get to that issue, it looks like oh, the uh, team Queensland of the team of the century is being whirled oh, out with sure. Lockie. Yes. Lockie coming out as the fullback of the century for Queensland. And how much Paul Hoff feel? And the king here, King Wally, of course. Yeah. Wonderful player. A wonderful ambassador. For rugby league. Oh, for the stink. The stink. Oh, indeed. The stink. He real was old what we call stink a, a, a stink merchant. He yes. was. I'd love to see him out there now just to run on to give Willie Mason a bit of an example of what a stink can do. That's right. And how give, it should be give, put yeah. on. Give him a chesting. Oh, Here's little Alfie. Alfie. Little Look at Alfie. that beautiful Alfie. shirt. Where'd you get that shirt? I bet you got that shirt from Deus Ex Machina. Looks like their sort of gear that he'd have out there. Well, on terribly the... stupid and inappropriate, it's if that's what you stupid. mean, dead right. Is and that the is role it... model we want? Well, it's not as if the bloke wasn't given warning that he was coming out tonight. I don't is know, I don't is know that who... Bob Lidner? That is Bob Lidner. God, God he's bulked up he's a bit, fantastic. isn't he? He's been in a very attractive paddock. Yeah. And a beautiful tie there. Is that the team of the century tie? It must be that Alfie refused to wear. Oh, well, that's typical Alfie. like the design. No, and here comes oh, Artie. Artie. And who's that with Artie on the left there? Is that, uh, could that be... Uh, don't know who that is. Would he a uh, prop? Do you think? No, he's too no, small. For too a prop. small. Could it be Dennis Flannery? Well, let's say it is for argument's sake. So it's Artie and Flanno. Yeah. Well, That's, Artie looks good, but Flanno, God, I don't remember him at all. No, no. Did but he play Artie, rugby league? I mean, he, he doesn't look as if he's got the build for rugby league. It was a different game then, Roy, before Jack got hold of it. Yeah. And here comes Wayne Bennett, Wayne Bennett, coach of the century. Oh, coach of the century. Yes, I think that's right, coach of the century. And right. a very quiet reception for Wayne. Well, again, no tie. No tie. Stripey shirt. No doesn't, respect. Never and looks good. looks as if he doesn't want to be there. No. He's become more and more like Clint Eastwood as he's got older yeah. and older. You can see him in a hat with a couple of guns, can't oh, you? He's a recluse, but, isn't he? Absolute recluse. He's still coaching the Broncos, and I think he's going to take over Dell's team next year. Oh, isn't he? good. Oh, look, there are a couple. Of, <clears> appear to be a couple of other old blokes there. There might be a bloke there from the Rourke's Drift Test. It, well, there's Herb Steinall. Well, Herb Steinall, that'd be him. What about Brian Davies? Well, yeah, he's pr- the old bloke. Yeah, Brian, I, I, Davies. Brian Davies is the old bloke. Yes. Yeah, remember that hit he had? Seventeen miles or twenty miles? Or whatever. Well, that was uh, hang on Ray Brown and the Whispers. Twenty was it, miles. What was the Brian Davies? Ah, uh, yeah, it was some stupid song. Some like, stupid song. Well, yeah, that's him. Or like a girl like you or yeah, something like something that. Like that. Yeah. Is that that bloke? Yeah. Right. And look, isn't it good they put the rail up there so they had something to lean on? Yeah. There's Gene Miles, of course. Big Gene. I tell you we missed missing. him coming out. I tell you who's missing mm. is Disha Dowling. Well, Disha Dowling should be there. As, uh, Choppy uh, Close? Well, Big Pond Wemke. Wemke should be there. It, and is Choppy Close get a Guernsey in this in No, this he doesn't. I mean, if that's the term of the team of the century, I, I think that's a con job. Well, I think... I, I think that's. I think we're just looking at rubbish. Apart from one or two of them. I know. As you mentioned, Paul Horf, the Clip Clop Club. Yeah, how would he feel? Uh, the forgotten man of rugby league tonight. Yeah. Fact, Roy. Fact. Yeah. Here, in the cauldron, yeah. in the steaming porridge pot. And here's the people who are going to be the team of the century in the next century, yeah. lining up here. Yeah. What is, it looks a terrifically fired up. Is there a temptation in your mind, Roy Slavin, yeah. tonight before the kickoff yeah. that the Maroons will go too hard too early in the I desperate? don't think so. You don't I, think I, so? Don't th- I don't think so. But what, what I would say, to, if I was talking to the Blues now, I would say to them that a cornered maroon is a dangerous animal and to expect the unexpected. Now, give me all that again. A cornered maroon <laughs> is, a, is an animal to be, to be very much wary of and respected uh-huh. and to, be, to expect the unexpected. Right. If I was Bellamy, I'd have those words printed on their hands as they walk out so they can look at that and say, expect the unexpected. OK. Right. Here's OK. The okay. Well, that's the bloke will do it, but yeah. he doesn't look like a thinking man to me. No, 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 no. He thinks uh, probably business as usual tonight and uh, maybe... Well, he thinks they're just going to do it through, through passion and heart. Wrong. Wrong. Yeah. Wrong. All those days They've got gone. to produce the unexpected. 
You get more State of Origin Rugby League in every action-packed minute when it's live on Triple J. Holiday makers stuck for somewhere to take the caravan this Christmas? The kids had enough of Dreamworld and Wet n' Wild on the Gold Coast? You want somewhere familiar and cheap, yet entirely different and close to home. That's why this year you'll be making a beeline for new old Melbourne town in Bexley. This award-winning theme park is set on 47 hectares and has everything you love about Victoria. See Ned Kelly robbing Glen Rowan Bank. See Peter Layla raise the Southern Cross at the Eureka Stockade. And see the Ballarat Gold Rush every hour. And when you've had enough of the sights, you can eat yourself silly for $500 at Federation Square House. Opposite the full-scale replica of Flinders Street Station. Then when the little ones are sick of walking, hop on a tram and watch Rod Laver Arena whiz by. That's new old Melbourne Town Bexley, Australia's newest theme park. It's more real than the real thing. If you're an Australian proudly committed to finishing off at Gallipoli, what our boys couldn't all those years ago, then you may be interested in the Enough is Enough Desert Crusade. For just $5 a week, direct debit from your bank account, you can join the crusade and receive the gum leaf, the Enough is Enough annual featuring a full colour spread, a list of the top 10 Australian plants for the backyard and a kids activity page highlighting the joys of model making, knot tying and how to spot teachers with non-Christian tendencies. And kids, you can win an Australian made Shanghai every month and go into the draw for a high powered slug gun made in America and a handsome pair of night vision goggles. To become a Crusade member, you need 100 points of identification, a reference from a Justice of the Peace and an introductory certificate from your Desert Crusade Regional Commander. Send away today and get the Gum Leaf Annual with Simpson and his donkey on the cover. Ah, uh, yes, welcome back to Sun Corpor. Now everything is in readiness. We've got the Blues on the park, and here come the Maroons uh, from the dugout uh, being led out by, it looks like, Cam Smith and Stephen Price. Roy, Stephen Price is a... Uh, he's a fair age. He has, has a lot of experience there. A lot of experience. A lot of experience. And, I think his experience is going to be useful tonight, HG. Would it be for well, him? a lot of the young kids, you know, they, they, they're very confident. That, you know, a lot of these young Blues who've, you know, made their debuts this year... They're very confident, you know, playing, uh, you know, at Stadium Australia. But when they get into this cauldron of uh-huh. Lang Park, it's a totally different experience. And we'd be looking for um, some mistakes, I think, early on from these young blues, HG. Well, uh, of course, uh, Stephen Price, it might be like climbing Everest for him to play 80 minutes. How, much do, you think, how much do you think he'll get out of the game? Well, I, I'm not expecting him to play, uh, you know, the full, 80 minutes, the full 80 minutes. But no. if he gets good, t- a good 20 minutes, there's the face of the East. Yeah, there's the face. Oh, good, good, good one, Will. Uh, that's right. No wonder this ground's a bit heavy underfoot. What did you make of the conditions, Roy? Very heavy, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, they've left too much grass on the paddock to slow the Blues down. And I don't know why, because the Maroons have a faster team. Well, Makes no sense to me. Look how long that grass is. It's, it's unsettling. Some of the smaller players, like Billy Slater, will disappear completely. Roy, the National Anthem, of course, a very telling moment. Mm. And we'll have to uh, cross down to the National Anthem in a moment. There's teams line up. Yes. It's, it's always it's a moment. It's an emotional moment. It is. It? Is, is that Shannon that Noel? Moment. No, it's not. It's his brother. Noel Noel. Comes a man, he must do the best he can to live his life and find his childhood dream. I've had the good times and the bad, but the biggest break I've had was when I found that girl that thought of only me. Thank you for your smile and the love that's in your eyes. And thank you for the heart that's big and true. Thank you for the many things you are, my love. Let me thank you for just being you. Well, what a reading, what a grooming, what a set of eyes as though he'd been hit with a sledgehammer before he came out there. That was Noel, Noel. 
with his reading of the national anthem. And Roy, at least the Maroons have got their players largely playing in their right positions. They do, don't they? They've got the people on the left hand side who should be on the left they hand do. side, the people on the right hand side. They who... do, they do. And, and, and that's the good thing. They, 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 just common sense, I think, has pervaded in, uh, in this. And Carmichael Hunt's out there, actually. He's starting, he's yes. going to start in the 5 8 position. That's a surprise. The other surprise is that uh, Greg Bird. The bird, man, yeah, the bird man appears to have grown a mo. Wow, facial hair back at this yeah, level. At least level. Um, we we'll haven't have seen to, that for I many know, years. We'll have to go. Here's Tony Archer, the police prosecutor, getting the game underway. A blues kicking right to left of your screen. We're underway in Origin 2. The one the Maroons have to win, and the Maroons get the ball chance. First, Carmichael Hunt, first to receive. Here's Petro. Petro! Oh, he gets that beautiful work there. Nothing much early tactics, Roy? Yeah, I think the, blues, uh, the Maroons are just going to run it up and then kick on probably the fifth. And uh, now plenty of Blues getting involved. Five, really. too many involved. Now here's where the, uh, Cam Smith will be blowing up in a minute. Looks across at Tony Archer ruefully. And then he gets it out wide and the Maroons run the ball away. Look at these, look at these wrestling techniques, actually. Hey, I know, that. see rolling Brick around. Bernard would oh, be hard happy with that. It's a sleeper hole. Yes, and he's given it. Well, you picked up too much wrestling. Too much to, wrestling. Yes, he's holding the player down yep, in the tackle, I yep, think. Yep, yep, for sure holding the player down. But yes. I, I don't mind that. No, it's an attractive look. I think people love it. I, look, can I just say in certain circumstances, Circumstances. If it's a bit of hint of six and nine about it, I yes, like that. Yeah, you I know, like that. Or well, well, full body slam. You get a bit of Greco Roman about it you too. Do. You, you do. get a, you, especially when you get a bit of head wedge. <laughs> People the love that. Get the ball away. Knock on there, and I think the Blues are going to get the ball back. Even oh, oh, double no, knock, knock on. Bring it back. Thank you, right, Stuart. Guys. Idiot. And there, there's an example there. That was nerves from young Stuart. It was. This is the first time he would have played at Lang Park under these conditions, conditions. with the blue Guernsey on. Yeah, the blue Guernsey there. That's a poor pass there. Is that Falau? Yeah, that was it on Israel there. Falau. And then, of course, the other one. So who gets the feed here, and This Roy? will be a Blues, blues. feed, actually, because the Maroons uh, uh, did make the first knock-on. Yeah, so the... Uh, that a was a forward pass, I thought, for mine. A let-off for the Blues and Wallace now feeding it. Don't tell me they won against the head. No, 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 no. no, 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 no Gee, no, that'd no, be a surprise. I'll never let that happen, actually. Never yeah. let that happen. Here he goes. Uh, Wallace about to feed the ball. Away it comes now, Wallace. the uh, Bird. Bird. Out wide. Oh, just a hospital pass there. He just didn't know forward motion there. Uh, the, the New South Wales backs are standing too square, Yes, they are. Back it comes now to the Blues. They run it over the signage. Oh, very hard hit there. So they're taking the... That was Quinn, I think, actually. Two-try hero from the uh, last uh, the last game. From Origin 1. Yeah. Oh, another good tackle. Oh, there. that's a big hit. And if, is that Nate Miles that out there? That was Nate Miles out there, yeah. Back he comes now to Gasnier. Gasnier knocked over on the signage. He gets up and plays the ball to Butterball Baderas. Baderas that... goes... Sorry, I had the wrong yeah, player there. Yes. Yes. Anyway, big unmade. There's the Hoffman, face. Hoffman, the face yeah. working his way forward. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, um... Uh, Oh, they, they've got swapped them around. It must be Hoffman. Oh, a lot of pl- oh, oh, no one knew what's Oh, this is Paddock. And a, a good kick, though. Got the uh, Maroons offside there. Yeah, a lot of Paddock from the Blues, though. And Fitzgibbon getting involved early. OK, the Maroons have managed to negate the Blues attack in that first set of six. Carmichael Hunt gets the ball away. Not much of a gain there. Maybe about five metres. They're right on there, uh, camped on their line, the Maroons. OK, early again, on, we... watch for these wrestling techniques here, H.U. Look at the wrestling. Look at the wrestling. Look at this. Holding, holding, yeah, holding. The holding. Is involved. They Starting to get him away. Here's uh, Thurston at dummy half. Uh, now they get the ball out to, uh, is that Inglis there? Yeah, it looked like Greg Inglis, yes. Oh, uh, it comes to Cam. Cam almost caught a couple of buttocks in the head. And he got, oh, gets around, he got the ball away there. And this is Tate with the ball, is it? No, I don't think so, actually. That might be Darius Boyd. Oh, Darius Boyd, yes, of course. The great Darius Boyd. Yes, team of the century. Just missed out. Just missed out, uh, yes. yes. Uh, now, th- here's, here we go. They're running back forward now, Stewart, oh, and they're knocked hammered. over easily. Hammered. Very knocked over. The Maroons have on their game tonight. They've, they they've, are. Got their they've come to heads. play. They've got their footy heads. The Blues are going to have to work this out and not panic too much. Here, yeah. a chance to get a, a penalty here. Well, no, already but... they've shut down what I call their attack time. Yes, correct. Oh, yeah. that's a good tackle from the little guys. Yeah, the Price old bones. Getting, the old bones fell it there. Nice getting involved, and Butterball Baderas there knocked over easily by the uh, would be the uh, lock. Four yep. Maroons. Now it's got to go to a kick, and there's Wallace kicking it out yeah. wide. Oh, Wallace in. Oh, oh good take. That's good great take. take there Carmichael. from Michael Hunt. He comes up steaming. Okay, um, they've got Hunt at fullback, and I think that's a good idea. So they've taken off Slater, given Slater a rest yep, for a while. they have. 
Away comes now. Unless this is Darius Boyd, is it? In the number yeah, two that's shot. Darius Boyd. Yes, okay. the great Darius Boyd. Just made it, made missed out on team of the century. You know, uh, he uh, was ahead of Choppy Close. Yes, he was team of the century. Yeah, and that's right. He's Petro. old Petro. God Almighty, um, uh, what, a that, what what uh, what uh, what would I say? Experience in the front row for yeah. the uh, Maroons. Tremendous away experience. comes wide. They're a bit of a run around there onto the croc. The croc gets it away, but sadly they just fall oh, I love over it when each they other. tumble oh, over well, each other. Look Keep that, going. That was a move. I'd call that obstruction almost there, Roy. Yeah, almost. Well. You don't often see bodies. that in rugby league, a mountain of players. <laughs> that you can fall over. Yeah. But maybe that's what the Mountaineer was talking about. Well, the Everest man. The Everest man, Locke. You know, yeah. that forward pass, another forward pass for mine. He hasn't pulled it up. Archer not having a great game. Oh, they're going to get into trouble here if they don't watch out. Play OK. Thurston in a dummy half. Off the kick there. Comes back towards the goal post. The uprights are going to be to run. Uh, that's not bad, deep. but too fat. Too so a restart deep. from the 20 metre line. Good restart, actually. Yep. And, and that uh, was Prince's first involvement. Yeah, How Scotty do you think Prince? their halves are going, Roy? Look, I think, I think the Maroons are playing with a lot more urgency, HG, and so far their attack looks as if it's, it's got uh, more uh, attractive in. qualities and more punch than the Blues at this stage. But Darius there at uh, picking up the ball onto the face, the face out wide. No stink from the face, disappointed. Yeah. You know, we've played five minutes. I would hope the stink might be off by now, the yeah. new face. Yep, yep. Well, the stink might be on and the new yeah, face the off. the face has done nothing at this stage. Uh, back it comes uh, to uh, Baderas out wide to the yeah. Here comes the raw bones. Oh, Fitzgibbon, oh, they're so raw, aren't, aren't they? they? I mean, they're, they're so old and, and they're so raw. bones. I know, he's got the light, the Wallace on a kick Wallace there. kicking early now. Uh, he's will Carl Michael Hunt be found wanting or is it going to be too deep? No, uh, it's come back. That's very good. Oh, play. the rugby league ball is so unpredictable. It is, and he gets back into the field to play nicely, just, though. Just, just. And he's made a game of about eight metres off their line. Back it comes to Scotty Prince. Scotty Prince out wide, players coming up to nail that, uh, whoever that was, the poor old Maroon. That might have been Anthony Quinn. <clears throat> uh, biggest plays the ball backwards to uh, Tate, I think that is. Yes, from the, that is from Tate. His, off his wing coming in, and the face gets him. Tate, has he still got it in? Has he still got the petrol? I don't think so, not at this level. Cam, no. call me Cam. Oh, they're very bunched here, the Maroons, as they try and get it out of their own dummy half. And, uh, well, their own uh, ruck area. Clear yes, ruck nice area. bit of buttock there, mm. we saw. Call me Cam, now they've got a chance. Thurston out, wider out, wider it goes. And now they've got round him. They might have a chance. They've got one on the outside. They need an inside. Oh, that's so easy there. Who is Soft. that? Try now time. Got, try yeah, time. Try time, baby. Early on, five, six minutes. What a beautiful try. That was about an 80 metre try. Darius Boyd just Darius missed out. Boyd. Just and missed out on 10th of the century. century. Incredible. That was soft. A fend on who was that they pushed out of the road? I've that wasn't Matt Cooper they got rid of. No, I'm so sorry for the feeling it might have been Gasnier, actually. We'll have to have a look at it again. If it was Gasnier, I'd pull him off right now. He hasn't come to do Let's anything. Let's have a look. Here Let's have comes. a look. There's Gasnier found wanting. Inglis. That oh, was Gasnier. Yeah, no, the guy in front there, the one who fell over. Well, I suppose <laughs> Gasnier part of the whole package there. Stewart caught out hopelessly positioned. Had three on one. And yep. in goes Darius Boyd. So that is a tremendous opening try yep. in about the... Uh, in about the six minutes. Yeah, but I think that's the best thing that could have happened for the Blues at this stage, HG. Something to shock them out of their torpor. Their torpor? Because I'm seeing them in a state of torpor. Uh huh. What's a state of torpor, Roy? Doing bugger all, Doing no Doing bugger all, being moz. Too moss. nervous. Uh, a lot of strangers into this circumstance. The effect of the cauldron. The cauldron, yes. You know, now, that's uh, what the cauldron can do to you. You that, forget what you're there for. You well, forget you're playing rugby league. True, true. You think you're a spectator. All of a sudden, there's a ball in your hand. You don't know why these blokes in maroon guernseys are jumping all over you. Now. That started off from a Carmichael, uh, Carmichael. regather. Yes, he stepped did. Stepped into the field of play. Yes. And almost on the next play, they're up the other it end. It was just a catch and pass. Catch and pass and that compressed New South Wales defence. They just ran around the outside. But it was Gasney's tackle to make. Ah, uh, Gasney was hopeless. Completely outplayed. Just, it, it was just and a simple fend. A simple push in the face. Thurston now with a lot. He didn't have a great night with the boot in Origin 1. This one will be a confidence lifter if he can get it no, over. I'll bring this round. He's on his he'll way. Bring this He's round. got Easy. it there. There it is. 6 0 in six minutes of Origin 2. Jack, Jack Gibson, Gibson makes State of Origin happen. And tonight, Australia, you are celebrating the legacy of Jack. Live. On Ripple J. Well, they were inside their 40 when that started, and now a, just a beautiful push off there. There's just one a fin, right in the face. And this two, the two here, completely yeah, Steve, Steve Turner, Turner out. not able to cope at this level. Out really. of his depth. Out of his depth. Out of his he couldn't depth. step up. Couldn't step up. No. And here we see the restart. Oh, now. look, We've Petro, quite... I mean, so full of energy now. They've got wind at the back of their sails. They've got the crowd with them. They've got yeah. the blues on their, on their heels. They've got uh, the back. 
the, the, the crowd at their back, the noise. Well, it's up to Willie to step up. And that was a good tackle from Willie there. He just didn't bust his nose. That was the problem No, that there. was just going to say, he's got to find a nose to smear and then we'll be happy. I've offered him $10 yep. if he can get one off with a nose yep. smeared. Yep. Uh, and see Gasney there trying to lift his game, pretending as he... Back we he come. There's Price now with the ball. Price taken by Wallace. And well, the, Gasney's got to do something in this game yeah, because he's Petro, a passenger. Petro's rolling up now on the fifth tackle. That's now his got second to touch of the ball in the last three sets. Here we go to the kick. Away to Thurston, on to Prince. Prince now with a beautiful kick. He's found some space here. Can he make it lob? No, he can't. Brett Stewart. Stewart, Stewart tidies Can up. Can he that bust him? No, no, Crocker got... there to stop him. And Tate, and they drag him back. That's a good return. Crocker very forceful in these in these conditions. And who's this Hornby with the ball now? Uh, Cooper, no, rather. Cooper, I think. Cooper Hornby. going nowhere at all. Digging a hole for himself. Tate's and look how tight. slow the Blues are to get back. And there's Stewart now bringing the ball back out. The five there is Quinn, the Quinn. two-try hero from yeah. Origin. One. An absolute hero. Absolute hero. I, I'm surprised he wasn't named in the Queen's Honours list the other day. I tell you what, I wouldn't have been surprised if he made the Queensland team of the century. Yes. And uh, we may be able to swap over there and get the replay uh, from the other side as Wallace again kicks. We've mm. seen this tactic before. They'll tidy this up. This is Carmichael, Carmichael Hunt, Hunt. Back down there, and he's got the ball back. Now he looks for a runner. Yep. He's found somebody behind him who's yep. English, I think. There. Yeah, no, that's Anthony Quinn. Sorry, Anthony Quinn. Anthony with the ball. Quinn, as opposed to Anthony Quayle. Who could play him just as well? Yep. Crocker with the ball now. He's yep. into bumps into the raw bones. Yep. I've still seen still no evidence that a stink's going to happen here. Mm. I, this game's just been played at a very professional level. Yes. Players haven't got time to think stink yet. No. Well, it's up to the face to get a mind back on the nose. Well, Willie's got to think stink. He's got, he's not thinking he's stink. Not thinking fact. stink at all. And no. that's pricey with the ball. There is it dragging it up. Cam, here comes some changes coming up now. Well, this look, looks like Slater coming on. Well, you'd imagine Petro... Price might get a bit of a rest too. So we might see one or two runs out of Price before. He he gets a bit of a rest. And so we've got the ball in the middle of the pack. They've made some easy yards here easy, too. Easy, soft. There's, uh, there's a good kick up over the top. They've found it. Will it stay in the field of play? No, no just a bit too fat. Again. Restart from the 20 metre line. A bit of a let off there. He's yeah, Scotty going. Prince, well, you know, he, this is his first game at this level, HG. Uh, so far his passing's been good. It's just his feet's letting him down. Yeah, we played 11 minutes. It's 6-0 and the Blues have the first tackle on the signage as you can see. Away this is where the Maroons want them up this end. They do. It's on the 30 metre mark and there's a lot of good tackling. He might have got a punch in the head there. I think I saw a punch go in there from Crocker. Of course, that's his go. That's his go. That's his go. And, and I think that might have been found out. I think they might have seen that. Holding, and that I think. Wouldn't surprise me if that was on report. If we see that in replay, if uh, nine... Here we go. Oh, good no, we just, missed, we just missed just missed the punch that. in the head yes. and the knee in the ear. But he's holding down archers all over it like a rash, as a good prosecutor should. Yeah. Well, he felt as if he should even up the uh, He did the penalty, penalty count. Yeah, there's a bit of a smear on the nose there, Petro. I might have taken one on the nose. I, I, yeah, not a, not a full-blooded one, just no. a glancer. Yeah. And uh, now Butterball Baderis with the ball. He uh, plays it away and gets it up there, rolling up the middle there. They might have made a change there, the... Uh, in New South Wales, up Brett White with That's the ball. That's Brett White, yeah. Butterball Baderis. Mad White. White. Whitey. Yeah, Whitey. Whitey. He'll do something for you. Oh, you Whitey won't let you down. He won't let you down. Just if give the, it to Whitey. If your nose is going to go off, yep. he'll square it up. Yep, yep, yep. So yep, if yep. you get it knocked one way, look for White to knock it the other way. Here they go running out wide. They're There's running Willie Willy. out in the centres, bludgeon on the blind, I'd say. Yep. He should be up the middle looking for bloody noses to take yeah, off. Yeah, there Butterball was Petro. Half. Petro against him. They've made good yards here. Wallace decides to run it on this tackle. They're up to the fourth tackle. That's a good gain there for the Blues. Now, let's see what they... Now, here comes the crunch time, HG Hoffman playing the ball now. Let, now, let's see what Wallace can do. Wallace is out wide, throws oh, the ball on the no, ground, but at least no. somebody picked it up. Looks like yeah, Gazzy. Is that Shimmy Whoosh fire Shimmy up, bitch? That Shimmy Whoosh fire up, bitch. Back it comes to Stewart. This is the final tackle. He's got to kick it. And what does he it's do? It's a banana it's, kick. Who to? The Maroons aren't going to... Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, Quinn. That fantastic. That's really Quinn, good. the two-try hero. Oh, no, it might have been Israel Folau. His, was it? No, it's Quinn. Oh, Quinn. Jesus, he's got up high. Uh, Crocker now with the ball. Oh, no, you're right, sorry. Actually, yeah, of course. Here Falau. he comes now, Folau. Yeah. Up he goes. Brilliant play. Well, brilliant. Gee, they're not, he's not nervous it? at all. Back it comes now. Oh, somebody out of the line. They've got around one. Can he get it the other way? Can he get it on the far side? No, he can't. Thurston knocked over. There, good defence there by Wallace. Back it comes now. The Maroons are running with Price, I think, gaining yards here. They're on the third tackle. They're not out of the, They're not into the blue territory yet. No, they're not. But uh, 13 right, minutes I tell you what, played. these Blues are looking over all, don't you? Over all. Oh, he's getting through. Can he get a runner there? No, he can't. That's English, I take it, with the ball. Yes, there. it'd have to be. They've got strong backs. This is what we talked about in the first match. They were meant to be very good. Well, they're not missing at... Hodges, are they? They're certainly not missing Hodges. No, no. Well, Hodges. Oh, there's a tap back. Oh, might have been tap forward. So it's. Oh, oh knock on. No, yeah. okay, play on, play on. Oh, no, it's knock on both oh, ways. Who by? Who by? I didn't see a knock on. I just saw poor handling. 
Well, it should be, you know, obviously. Well, who's going to get the feed here? Here, this one goes forward. That's what I'm reading as oh, forward. Oh, well, that's your first knock-on the right there, yeah. And there's your second knock-on. Okay, Blue's feed. And Blue's nervous, though, Roy. Oh, and we're over, underway. Overawed, overawed. Completely shell-shocked here. Uh, we need a nose to go off there's to settle Bird down. with the uh, moustache. I missed that. I'm going to have a look for that, though, on the replay yeah, there. Cooper running it up there. It gets a face mesh ours there. Beautiful work there. Nothing wrong is, with this that. This is Bird here this running level? out the dummy half. No. No, this uh, the other job. Yeah, five, the five. No, yeah. it's Quinn. Oh, Quinn, sorry, Quinn. Mm. Two-try hero. Yeah, yeah. Anthony Quinn. Back it comes to uh, Butterball Baderas. Baderas out wide now, looking for Wallace. Foul Wallace. Here's the face, looking for a nose. Well, Hasn't the face is nose. going nowhere, well, that, is he? He's not. He's not. The he face. just fails to deliver every bloody year, and I have no idea why he's still picked. Do you know what? I, I tend to agree with you. I've defended the face for a yeah. long time now, but at this level, found it's wanting, found except wanting. in the chat, the nut bag. Yeah. You know, going to take somebody's nose off. Oh, oh good oh, hands there, Gasney. Good God, hands. Gasney's having a God, the sooner he goes to rugby union in France, the better. Isn't it? It is. I hadn't thought of it quite like that, but you're absolutely right. As soon as he takes up that ooh-la-la yeah. lifestyle, the yeah. better. The better. The better. Back, back it comes now. It can only lift the standard of Australian Rugby League. By about 100%. Exactly. He's, is this uh, Inglis with the ball get, struggling forward? Mm. Don't call me Cam. Uh, Cameron, call me Cam. Gets it back on to Petro. Oh, Petro out Petro's wide. Petro's been good. He's, he's been very steady. Very mm. steady. 6-0 uh, if you've just joined us. We've played about 15 minutes in Origin 2. The one the Maroons have to win. Uh, this Triple J coverage. And, of course, oh, a nice stretcher there. Who's mm. that? That's with Dallas the, Johnson with the ball. Right, Dallas Johnson with the ball. Back it comes now on the kick there. Prince gets Scotty the Prince, kick Scotty Prince. His kicking hasn't been good. Let's see yes. if he's done so it this time. Up out of one. He turned it around, but he could have had the ball run away from Stewart to allow a bit Can more Stewart time up there. Stewart break a tackle here? No. no who's there? Crocker, Crocker, Crocker again. Yeah, Crocker His again. His nemesis. Oh, yes, from grand final Exactly. Last year. Nemesis. Back it comes now. To, who's this? I forget this guy's name. St. George Dragon. This might be Steve it? Turner. Oh, Turner, is it? Mm, Turner. Oh, fitter and Turner. Well, Turner. Fitter. I've just never just seen a, a fitter fit. Turner. No, I just wish he was a bit fitter, that Turner. Mm. Uh, and Maroons, they're going to get caught for holding them down here. Uh, unable to uh, get the Oh, good day there. Good day there That's from the man they call Cam, not Cameron. Cam, 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 Smith, Cam, Cam Smith. Smith. Uh, Back it goes now. The Blues running the ball up now. Here's the face. The face has got out of one, though. He had great no, defence there. he's got out of there. nothing. He's got out of nothing. Oh, that, that, the lock there held on. Is that Dallas Johnson? He's Bird, he, Bird. He knocked out, completely knocked out in the match now. Who's this? This is your other winger, isn't it? It's yep. uh, Darius Boyd. That's Darius Boyd. One try hero out of origin too. Yeah, that's right. Bellamy looking uh, rueful. Mm-hmm. And I don't know well, who he knows that... his players are overawed. I mean, you give them all that talk about climbing Mount Everest. It's what does wrong. it mean to them? It's the wrong chat, isn't it? It doesn't mean anything. They don't even, don't even understand what, an, what, what, what Everest is. Well, they don't understand the concept of a hill. No. They can relate to a chill, but hill mm. eludes them. Mm. Rugby league hill. But, oh, how about holding down in the tackle? Oh, oh no, that's, that's, yeah, that's, oh, Wallace, that's all right. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, he's knocked it on. He played that off his foot, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he yeah. dropped that, and it could be what? No, no, that's all right. Play on. Play, <laughs> play the ball, Stuart. <laughs> he dropped it and kicked it. Yeah. And they use a sort of kicking style. The Blues aren't doing much here. They need to set the back line deeper and try and get some... They do. There's no know, sense of attack. There's no rolling it up the forward. They'd yeah. be better off... Oh, look, this perfect work there. That is yeah, quality that's skill play. there And that, something's happened in the background, because we're going to hear the crowd going off. And he's given a penalty to New South Wales for yeah, something Crocker Crocker did. Yeah, holding down wrestling or punching the head or something. Really Coming in stupid. late, I'd say. Oh, kicking, kicking the tape. The no, where's Crocker? Oh, there's a bit of six and nine. Crocker Roman style. That's uh, good. Uh, People like to see that at home. Well, I didn't dads. think there was anything in that at all. No, I know. That's a very soft penalty. I mean, it is rugby league we're playing. You know, I, it's not marbles. I hadn't thought of it quite like that. I can't see what that penalty was for. No. Anyway, it's a game there. We're on the 30-metre line. Wallace having a whale of a game. He's well, he's a good chance for a, for a Blues attack. Here we go. They're underway now with a couple of the big guns having to roll up. But, oh, too easy there from the Maroons. They just collar them butterball. Mm. Well, it's up to Bird now to get a bit of go forward into this team. Bit of go forward. Oh, they're very slow out of the <laughs> places. So who's That's that? Hoffman. Hoffman with the ball. And uh, who's the guy on the outside? It's Matt Cooper there running Yeah, with him. again, a shocking pass there. Oh, they're not playing well, are they, the Blues? Oh, the he's, uh, a bit, oh he got one out the back. They've got an over. Like, oh, he went, went the wrong way. No, this, no, this is a fire up bitch. He went the trousers. wrong way. He had, he had a runner on the outside. Selfish. Selfish, selfish, selfish play. Butchered a try. They could have overlapped there easily. Back and come. Oh, it's easy to call from the card table, I know. But he's having a shocking game. The uh, Gasly, the Gasly, fire up bitch. Five uh, bitch bloke. Mm. And they've, that's the fourth tackle. Now they've got, they're inside the 10, the red zone. Right inside the red zone. Here's a chance. He came the wrong way. He should have kept on pushing the ball across the line. Mm. Back there. They've, this is the fifth tackle now. They've got to have to kick him behind here. Oh, he's not oh, overall by they're that. Not, oh, God, they're not ready for that, are no, they? No, they're not. And they run around. He decides oh, to fall over. Oh, there, it could have been. Oh, look at that. So what's that, a restart? No, he's paid something. No, it'll be a restart. Uh, 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 in goal. 
Drop out. Drop out. Go alone. Drop out. Yeah. It's hard to imagine he's a police prosecutor, that bloke. Yeah, and uh, he th- might have hurt himself there a bit, Thurston. When uh, he fell on that bloke, he might have winded himself. That can happen. It can, quite easily. Uh, let's have a look no, here. Let's have a look here. They, all they go it. up, yes, but the Maroons have it sort of fairly well diffused. They knock it back. They, he catches it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you'd have to play a goal line drop, mm. out, drop out. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, look, uh, I'd say that, uh, you know, you'd have to say the Maroons have had the better of the first tw- half of the yes, first half. Yes, they have. That was the first real chance that the Blues had to attack and they did nothing. Here we go. Goal line drop out there. It's a bit of a kick. He's got a... Fif- oh, 55 metres good, on the fly. Very good kick. Who's that doing that? Is that JT? Um, I think that was Thurston, mm. yes. JT, come, the man they call JT. The, the raw bones there. Not to be confused with the South Sydney Rabbits coach, JT. That's but, right. Uh, that would be good to see J, that JT. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or your candy man, JT. Not oh, you're candy. With him. Mm. Yeah, James Taylor. Mm. Uh, back it comes now, away from the card table side. Oh, he's oh, lost the ball. Oh, shocking. Lost the ball. Cole, now the Maroons have it. No, they can hurt you from here, Roy. I know they're in the... Yeah, they're that was Gallon. Line. What an oh, idiot. Gallen. I mean, he is a total idiot. People say to me, is, is, is Gallon an idiot? I say, yes, total. <laughs> we played 20 minutes, 6-0. If you've just joined us, Crocker with the ball, promoting the ball beautifully. And uh, now the Blues are, are sort of... They're just not quite there yet, are they? No, they're not. They've still got There's... a bit of plain sh- shyness. They haven't taken off a nose... They need something really good to settle them down. Ben Eichen on screen just missed out on the team of the century mm. as commentator. Mm. Uh, the maroon bench there. Oh, oh good what work. A pass. Good work. Oh, no. Try trouble. time. Try Here time. Trouble now unless Stewart can get across. Oh, you won't do a, anything. Oh, oh forward pass for mine. But if it's not, it's try time. The Darius boys. Try, 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 try Hero in Origin two. Boyd in again. Oh, yeah. now, hang on. Has he called something out yep, there? Yeah, no, it's a try. He's not He's even going upstairs. Nor should he. That was that was a try. Nothing wrong with that. And again, this compressed. Blues defence, once they get on the outside, they've got the speed to, uh, uh, to, to just put just them away. Them just tear them apart. But in the first uh, origin, yeah. really, is that what's happened? That they, That's th- what they were trying to do, but they couldn't get the ball out there because the Blues got up too quickly on it. Right, now they're sending the back line a lot deeper yes. though, than in the first one. So Hell they can run it. Look at this, yep. they're running yep. and they're just getting around them. Getting around them, yep. That's what they were trying to do before. They're playing more conventional rugby league. Yeah. Never mind that that was about a metre and a half forward. Yeah, well, Arch was there in line with it. So, uh, you know, it's, it's difficult to ask from this angle because the errors are parallax, mm-hmm. etc., etc. Et but well, uh, I think the prosecutor, Archer, who was Johnny on the spot, the he could see it, the people. Pusher. He knew it. He didn't even have to go upstairs. No. And I was glad he didn't go upstairs because too much time is wasted at this level going, going upstairs. upstairs. I agree with you. I've got to say is that this is turning into a, into a bit of a romp. Mm-hmm. 10-0. Mm. You wouldn't want to see... Oh, listen, but don't Long forget the Bellamy factor. The Bellamy factor. He'd have something in mind. He'd have, he? he would have something to say. And I believe as a special treat, uh, he's got uh, Andrew Locke in to talk to the players at half-time. As well. This is the man who climbed Mount Everest, you might recall. <laughs> he's back in to tell them... You know, how it was the second time he climbed it. <laughs> wow! At half time, JT gets it up and away, so it's 12 0 in Origin 2. Darius Boyd, the two try hero. You are listening to The Legacy of Jack, live across Australia on Triple J. Yes, welcome back to Lang Park, where the Blues are being outplayed here by a much more what conventional style of yeah. rugby league. Is that fair <clears> enough? Yeah, good right? old-fashioned rugby league, HG, yes. Set the back line deep, run yeah. it around the defence and go in and score. Exactly. And the Maroons have the ball back. We've played 22 minutes. Yep, yep. Uh, 22 minutes, and uh, the Maroons uh, all... Oh, Doing do it like, easy, aren't they? They are. I'd like to see a possession count. Yep. Blues have made some shocking mistakes. Gaznia, unable to perform at this level. And in the Paul series. Gallen, unable to perform. Uh, and, and I've got to say, uh, there's a hint of maroon underwear, and I like that mm-hmm. too, mm-hmm. on that player. Might have been mm-hmm. Steve Price. Yep. Uh, maroon underwear, matching the maroon shorts. Oh, there oh, is. Oh, look at the man they call uh, Cam, 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 Cam. Steve is creepers. Uh, yeah, yep. not, not uh, you know, they, they mark, mark, mark infringement. I think that was Marcus yep. Simpson who's on there. Yep. He caused a lot of problems in that area last he time. Did. He did. He <clears> did. <throat> no, no. Well, the Blues are losing a discipline. Discipline, yeah. yeah they're losing discipline. They're shape, a little bit rattled. Shape. And they've got this bloke off who's obviously mm. in some sort of trouble. I don't like to see this dis- public display no. unless that power is being used to some purpose to light the mm. fixture here. Exactly. But I have to say, actually, at this stage that Inglis is playing all over Gasney. Oh, he is. Oh, oh, no, 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 he, he? Yeah, he is a complete embarrassment. Complete passenger here. Jones, just inside the 20 metre line. Centre ground, Blues end, Blues red zone. Smith away for Prince who steps off his left foot twice. You'll play the ball, eight metres away is the try line. Cameron Smith flattened across for Miles. And Nate Miles has lost the ball. The ball has come loose. So it would be a scrum. And I would fancy a Blues feed. 
So this is where the pressure is now going to be on the Blues, half and 5'8", Wallace and Bird. They had a charm run in game one. They didn't have to come up with a lot to beat Queensland. Now they find themselves 12 behind. And the way this is going, they're probably going to have to come up with somewhere in the vicinity of 24 to win. So all of a sudden, some creativity issues now plague the Blues with Wallace and Bird having to come up with something extra. We'll find out what they're made of now. They've just got a bit of a flood in here. Or, uh, just fixing up the eye of Nate Morris, who's had a head clash there with Paul Gallen. It was strong defence and needed to be on the line. Let's go down to the sideline. Andrew Voss is with Laurie Daly. Yeah, bring in Laurie after 18 minutes game one. New South Wales led 10-0. Now after 23 minutes here, Queensland 12-0. What's your read on it? Well, they had plenty of ruck dominance in game one, and they're really making good decisions on the edges. In game two, the difference in this game is a structured play by the Queenslanders. They've got players in motion. The running was full, and that was a good hit there by Brent Tate. No, he can't make a run. He's hurt himself. Well, has he what? It looks like he might have put his shoulder out and done something. He's in a lot of pain. Plenty of pats on the back, but he's hurting. He's really hurting there, Carmichael Hunt. With the teeth, son. Well, he's forced a mistake on Greg Bird. Oh, it's a big shoulder charge. Here's a nuggety strong player, Bird. He went sideways on impact. Of course, Billy Slater was named as the starting fullback. He's back to the bench. Well, I'll just be hoping that's what's called a stinger. And will hurt for a moment and be OK. Yeah, he's all right. Middle lock. Tough as nails. Out from the Blues line, 12 nothing, and here comes the Queenslanders again. Nice big back line. They turn it in for one for Harrison, right in front of the uprights. 12 out, back the other way. Nate Miles below the uprights almost. He'll play it. Tackled by Simpson from Newcastle. Smith second man, first and a step and a real. He's tackled a meter out with Michael Crocker steaming through, looking for the pass. Cameron Smith again, Johnson a decoy. Prince off his left and his right and then runs into the defence. And Scotty Prince will play the ball. Ten away from the line. 12 nothing Queensland. Thurston away. Crocker run around. Thurston on. Taters with it and pulled down by Cooper. Played back for Carmichael Hunt. The pass was long. Out in front of him, Thurston. Prince puts a kick in. He's looking for the jump from Boyd. He bats it, but he bats it forward. And it will come out to the 20 for the restart by the Blue. Don't understand that from Queensland. They've had great success going to their left, and pretty much that whole set of six, they kept coming the other way. Cooper handled them comfortably. And on that last play, had they put the ball through the hands, I still think they had the Blues outnumbered. They decided to kick. Mason off the Frankie on. Another penalty. Somebody the same way. Simpson also out there along with the Frankie. This is a totally different scenario for the Blues. Down 12 at Suncorp Stadium, the home of Origin. All of a sudden it doesn't seem so easy. Pretty cruisy run in game one. Now they've got to come up with something different. 14 minutes of the first half remain. The clean shirt is on the Frankie. Now for Fitzgibbon. And he's pummeled on the 30-metre line, a two-man tackle. Price and Smith the tackle. Wallace away, Bird in, Simpson's with it. One of seven players involved in the game from the Hunter region of New South Wales, one of our great breeding grounds. Badiris talking. From Newcastle, Badiris playing the ball on the 20-metre line. Bird a dummy half, short for Gallon. Equally short. Compressed attack on the short side for Cooper. And he'll play the ball. Ten away from the line. Pass was bad again. Wallace gets a kick in in front of the charge down attempt. Carmichael takes it, but it's a penalty, Queensland. Inside the ten, in front of the kicker, is the ruling. Yeah, kicker's inside. In front of the... Uh, chases inside the kicker. Sort of. <laughs> but it, once again, you know, both teams looking for a rest. New South Wales, they, they went down the short blind side about three times, all to no avail. Queensland had the numbers there on every occasion. So 
Cameron Smith taking a tap on the 20 meter line. Queensland, they're doing, they're doing well in every department. One notable thing that I'm watching is the ground their forwards are gaining to give the back some kind of a platform. Johnson to the half wall. It's really a battle of real estate, isn't it? And at the moment, they're winning that battle. Here is Prince on the 40 meter line, Blues end of the park, Carmichael Hunt's okay, it would seem. Steve Price and some running repairs for Nate Miles. Prince on for Thurston who slips, still got the ball away. Prince has got the ball away. Brent Tate puts it down and the referee said play on. Thurston kicks into the corner. Stewart goes across, willing it, willing it, willing it, and he's tackled in goal. You cannot believe that. What about that passage of play? An absolute mistake a thong from Queensland, and the football boys have rewarded them to the ultimate. Although we've got a linesman coming in. Anthony Quick. What about that? Well, it's going to be a penalty to Queensland yeah. by the look of it. A Queensland player held back, it looks like. Hey, listen to this. He made a second movement with his leg. Found the player up, he kicked the ball penalty here. Took the player out after the kick, mate. No. Took the player out after the kick. Well, that's no, defying no. indignity. Yeah. That wasn't for a pass. Everything went wrong for Queensland. And they came up smelling roses. New South Wales are adamant there was a forward pass. In fact, two in the movement. I thought Tate knocked it on for sure. When he dropped the ball, I thought he was hatching it. Wait, little Cameron. Cameron. Uh, yeah. Or laying it. And then Brett Stewart took an age in the corner. Here comes Billy Slater. They're going for the jugular here, Queensland. They can smell another try. This will be open heart stuff. Slater coming into the game at this stage. Well, they're even making mistakes look good. First in for Smith and back. Oh, by the Paul Gallon's a man who's gone high. You got it, Sam. Too high, mate. It's a very interesting decision coming up here. You would think they would take the points to go more than two converted tries. But I think they can also sniff their third four-pointer of the evening. They take the, the sensible way. Blood pouring out of that wound from Nate Miles. All sorts of difficulty in, in stemming the flow. In the end, I think it's, it's the cautious way, but probably... The right thing to do to get to that 14 mil lead points and state of origin at a premium they're hard to come by they might have scored another try but new south wales defenses have been pretty good the last five six minutes and queensland as, as phil said seem to have lost their way success down the left hand side for the first 20 minutes and now they're coming down the right hand side but to no avail subdued really mason who's been Making some headlines for the media. Not right now. 12 0 about to become 14 nil, you would think. First and three from three. 14 nil in origin two from Suncorp. 14 nil Queensland over New South Wales. That's a superb lead as we come within the final ten and that was the penalty there. Anthony Quinn ruled to have turned his back and moved sideways to take out Jonathan Thurston after he kicked the football. It was a great end to a, a poor last tackle option. You can't argue with that. New South Wales restart and Prince will find five. And Sam. Oh, that goes the head. Who we'll play the ball inside the 20 metre line was tackled by Hoffman and Tupo. Tupo rattles up Slater. And there was just a suggestion that tackle might have got Slater around the chin as well. Here's Steve Price. He's just inside the 30 metre line. He's to play the ball to Brent Tate. And Tate is able to escape one, playing out of the Warriors in New Zealand these days with his brother in law, Steve Price. And the brothers in law enjoying what's happening at the moment but we're a long long way from the fat lady at the moment first and driving between the custodians 
and Stewart comes away from the 10, running towards Johnson, and eventually he and Harrison make the tackle. On the Blues 20 metre line, it's come over to Quinn again now. He'd know the feeling that Darius Boyd is enjoying over there at the moment. A couple of tries in your first appearance. Such was the case for him in Sydney. Now Thurston picking up the advantage for Queensland to go through Smith and then on to Johnson. And Johnson draws them in and Inglis gives it on. Boyd again with the ball. And Boyd 30 metres away from the New South Wales line. He might be thinking about Denon Kemp here the other day. It's a foursome. Now Friday, talking of birthdays, he's got one coming tomorrow. Now it's away for Price and gone on to Thurston. Goes behind Miles, goes on to Slater. On to Tate. Tate goes off his right foot. And Tupo pulls him down. Sit down, Fatty. You're standing in front of me. He gets up and he barracks the Vorton man. Now it's gone from Thurston. It's gone away for Smith. Long and well directed. On the way to Thiday now. And 12 metres out from the Blues line. Pulled down by Gaznier and Gidley. Then it's Smith short for Joel. Bird lined him up. Didn't quite get him in the target. And Cameron Smith looks around. Which way? Which way? Blind side. Decoy from Thiday. Put down by Prince. Put down by the Blues. Double sided knock on. It'll be a Blues feed. That's a big set in defence, not far out from half time. Wouldn't want to be chasing any more than uh, currently in deficit. A couple of changes there for both teams. Bert Gidley is out there looking to provide some enthusiasm. Carmichael Hunt said that he was sore for a week after game one. Well, I reckon the next fortnight he'll be feeling it. He came off and he was hurting. Shoulder was crooked and he lipped away when he defused a bomb as well. Huge effort physically from him. And you saw Wales make turns desperately before half time, but they can't get out of their own half. That's their problem. Maybe this fellow can get something going. Gidley, he's been able to pull a penalty because the markers weren't direct, and one of them could have been declared inside the 10, so he got them in any amount of misdemeanors. They find the line on the western touch line at the halfway junction, and Badiris goes to Tupo. Pumping the knees high, making it hard for the tackler low, which was Thiday. Badiris down the short side, up the middle now, I should say. And Badiris will play the ball, 28 away from the Queensland line. He'll play it back for the 12, which is Hoffman. Hoffman to Wallace, Wallace to Gidley, but a run around for Wallace. Then it goes on to Stewart, Stewart away for Gaznia. Gaznia on Thurston, Thurston gets him down. And Inglis jumps on board from Turner then to the 15, LaFranchi. And LaFranchi can see the chalk is only seven metres in front of him. On the Caxton Street end of the ground, it hasn't seen a lot of football. Wallace, low for Gidley, dummy twice, goes out, picks up Cooper. Cooper tackled, again seven away. Last tackle for New South Wales. And Gidley goes to the short side, and it's with Hoffman. And Hoffman gives the turnover to the Maroons. Queensland's right hand defence has just been sensational tonight. Brent Tate having a massive match, 15 tackles already. And also Israel Palau's had a couple of great reads, come in, made some crunching tackles. Brent Tate was telling the referees that the ball's flat. It was another ball. So we go on now with a, an inflated ball. And Friday, every time he gets tackled, you think it's a high shot. He's one of those long list of players with a, a mop of hair when they, they get hit. It's exaggerated. Miles to play the ball. Just outside the 20 metre line. LaFranchi was one. Badiris was... How many tackles has Badiris made now? Seems he's in everything. Now, here's a juggle and a regather by Inglis. And then Stewart magnificent in defence. Inglis having a wonderful half. Thurston. Punching it across the line. It's Smith who throws the dummy and takes a three-man New South Wales tackle. 25 metres away from the Blues line. Penalty, Queensland again. I gave him, I gave him the Benetton on the 10, and he's a both line in there. Six for the penalty count in favour of Queensland. Well, six penalties in all in, in game one of this series, and 10 already in this half. There's a lot more 
strict around that play the ball area and another shot at goal penalty goal to take it to 16 nil that would be a wonderful lead for queensland look at this greg inglis thurston good to see him running he didn't run enough in game one as a 5 8 now running inside ball beautiful hands by inglis what an athlete this kid is he went looking for support he could have taken stewart on maybe with a left foot step went looking for boyd and this is a beautiful classic fullbacks tackle by brett stewart and then the penalty laying all over the tackle player it looked like cameron smith had a headlock and ryan hoffman complaining a couple of melburnians as I'm reminded that we're going live into Melbourne tonight. GTV and Victoria. Welcome to our telecast, belatedly. The same in South Australia and going on delay through Perth, live into the UK through Satanta. And the kick from Thurston is successful. He's got a perfect slate. 16 nothing. a minute to go to the break. Well, welcome to Origin in Queensland. Welcome back, Australian Rugby League lovers, for another 40 fabulous minutes of red-hot action. And this, the year of hate, as the great game continues to celebrate the legacy of Jack. Are you still there? Sideline sicko and perv. I certainly am uh, King Wally Otto in the soundproof booth, and uh, we're here at halftime. We've just had a tremendous halftime. Well, session really is what I'd say. It's sort of a live at the wireless session. And um, I've got the uh, artists, the performing artists, who were... Um, we started off with Eddie Current Super Session. Or no, no, I shouldn't say Eddie Current Super Pression or Suppression Super Session R.I. Which Way to Go. Uh, that's from the uh, CD Primary Colours. Uh, then we had um, Hot Chip and... <clears throat> Hot chip, and then we were followed by uh, the John Steele singers. So uh, it was a fantastic, a fantastic range of artists who entertained everybody here. And you can hear, um, obviously, uh, the grand announcement. Yes. Uh, the winner, uh, winner of the uh, the lucky seat prize. It was fantastic. <clears throat> and have you ever won a lucky seat prize? I have a yeah. seat twice. Yes. <laughs> what did you get? Can you? Remember? Yeah, the first time was a cricket bat uh, that was signed by uh, Merv Hughes. Merv Hughes yeah. and uh, Stumpy. Chook. Chook Raper. Puff and Chan. Wow, Murphy's Puff and Chan. You couldn't do better than that. And what happened the second time, Roy? I won another cricket bat, HG. Mm -hmm. uh, this one was signed by uh, Murphy's mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, Webke. Shane, Shane Webke, yeah, uh, Mal Meninga mm -hmm. and Johnny Lang. Wow, mm. I saw a Queensland feel mm. to it. Yeah. Isn't that great? Mm. And have you still got them? Are they, they I do. Of, I have them you, mounted on my wall. I, 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 I had them framed. Part of your super collection? Yes, they are. Mm, that's very good. Yes, they are. Uh, I've got to say is that, uh, you know, the lucky seat prize tonight was a slab of beer and a night out with Shane Warren. So it wasn't a bad prize. Not a bad prize at all. It was the uh, slab signed, HG? It was. Yes. It was by the team of the century. Oh, is that nice? Uh, it was something they did as they came mm. off. Wouldn't that be great to have framed? A it, slab of beer. Well, would be fantastic. Mm. Sadly, I'd probably want to drink it. Mm. Uh, but if you've just joined us uh, for the second half, it's 16 nil. Nil, at yes. Half time. Now, you're not dreaming. You know, this is not some weird nightmare, some bizarro world you're in. This is the truth. I bumped into Mark Scott, who's uh, the head of the ABC, uh, who's here watching the match HG. Enjoying it, is he? Loving his rugby league, and mm. uh, wished to me to, uh, to let it be known that the, uh, there's a very good chance that the ABC will be uh, broadcasting uh, the television rights to the State of Origin uh, next year. Is that right? They're putting in a bid, yes. Mm. For the ABC to the get ABC. the rights. Mm. So that means if we saw this match in Auckland... Yes. ...we'd be able to have w watch pictures... It on, you'd watch it on Channel 2 or, or ABC great? 1. And how confident mm. was he? Very. Because they hardly have anything at all. No, I know. I know, and in terms I of, well, oh, we've got the bowls. The bowls. <coughs> a bit of net ball. And sometimes have the waffle and the SANFL. Yeah. And yep. uh, Shoot Shield, of course, Rugby Union. Oh, the Shoot Shield is going through the roof on Saturday afternoon. Mm. So Who the calls that? To watch. Toby, someone, oh, I yeah. think. Uh, sometimes Jim gets involved as Jimmy well. Jimmy Maxwell. Mm. Isn't that great? So would they, uh, did he suggest who might be calling? No, no, he didn't, but I assume it would be Jim and Toby. 
<laughs> the origin. <coughs> and was he like you, excited by the idea the Blues are out there for the second half? Well, he excited. was very, very disappointed by the Blues attack. He thought they lacked uh, a lot of creativity. Is that right? That was his view, and uh, I had no d- reason to disagree. I just nodded, as you do, mm-hmm. and, and said, "Well, uh, all the best, Mark, and uh, good luck with that bid. Good luck, yeah, and good luck with your lucky seat prize." And uh, can I say that a bit of sad news reached me tonight, mm-hmm. that uh, the ABC has not got the radio rights for the Capital Cities. For Rugby League? For the Olympics, I was going to say. Oh, for the Olympics. Yeah. Oh, that's a blow, isn't it? Yeah, it is. People won't be able to hear it on the ABC. They won't be able to hear Jimmy Maxwell's call of 100 metres, should Jimmy Maxwell, as the Maroons are about to come out mm. for the second half where they lead 16 mil. But I assume rural Australia will have they the get, ABC. Yeah, of course they will, yes. Mm. You could move to Newcastle yes. and probably pick it up tickety-boo. Well, I suppose you could. And I suppose the footprint with some of our rural stations is Overlaps. strong enough to uh, be able to pick it up in the city should you have a, an aerial. Large enough. Or or pointed in that direction or appear on the hill. And here come the Maroons to a great round of applause. I mean, very few people thought they'd be seeing this. They thought they might have seen it in Origin 1 where they were really warm favourites. But to come up here with one down and produce a performance like this is just a fantastic tonic. tonic. A tonic. And isn't it interesting the mind games that are being played here? Queensland stayed in the rooms while the Blues went out. You know, at the start of the match, the Blues were left waiting out there for ages. And again, the Maroons have delayed uh, coming out. And it's it's, it's, this is the Mel Meninga mind games. It that, is. Uh, as such a feature of rugby league at this level. And, of course, they just have to be out there and experience the nervous yeah. wait. Yes. Will they come out? Will, Will they, they stay in the room? Yeah, and are they last minute instructions from Kumquat Walters. Yeah. I, thought, I thought he could have made the team of the century. We're underway in Origin 2. Second half. Blues. I uh, have to run it he's all. Remember, oh, God, he's an idiot, isn't he? Yeah, total. total idiot. Total, yeah. total. Uh, we've got uh, 40 minutes to go. We've yeah. got 16 points to make is up. This to this Bird just getting involved? Oh, I think it's Bird. Bird's done nothing. I mean, you can grow a mow all week, but it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't improve doesn't your rugby league. Look, I'll tell you what, face here in rugby league it's a long time yeah. since it's worked they've got a bit of energy about them though the blues as they come out that might be steve simpson with the ball yeah. on to giddley giddley certainly fired well, giddley's, him up. giddley has added a lot of spark he hasn't he? been found wanting at this level in the, this the match. spark division in the spark area and uh, there it goes over to butterball but here as wallace then kicks and wallace might and have been hit in, the, hit in the head oh a perfect kick oh, oh he's a turned him around kick. but he's picked it up and that's slater slater he goes through a couple of wall he's still going the little bloke gets turned yeah, and but they got him. plays the ball he's in the road there away it comes now they're running well, the new uh, the Queensland Maroons. They need to knock a couple of these blokes' noses off, slow them down in the head. That's what I always say. They do, but I tell you what, all these Maroons, actually, everyone wants the ball. Everyone's uh, calling for the ball. And that's the bloke who showed us a bit of blood off a cheek earlier. They yep. might have got to, if that's Falau, he looks a bit groggy. Yep. Oh, it comes now, the Maroons. Here's Price well, out Price, there. Again. Well, he's oh, steady, isn't he? Steady, what a steady, 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 he's a rudder. He's a rudder, isn't he? Yeah, I tell you what, he's a rudder. Mm. He's more a keel. Yeah, a keel, sorry. A keel, yeah. holding the uh, team together. Yeah. yeah. And isn't it refreshing to have, uh, not to have to worry about Jared Hayne tonight? Uh, yeah. With those couple of shots he. Um, yeah. Gotten. Yeah, there he is, the keel being fancy and there. And uh, they're holding him down. Badiris was holding him down. I mean, it, I mean that's his go. And, and, let's face it, uh, the, the New South Wales team. Here's trouble. Are Here's trouble. trying to slow things down. And Badiris has been called out here, I think. He's going to get talked to. He's going to get. Yeah. Oh, it's all very well. You're going to read about it in the papers. I'm sure Roy yep. Masters will have an opinion about it. And don't think that Steve, Mas- what's his name, Mascord. No, and it's very hard to argue with uh, oh, someone he's like go Archer. On with it. He's going on with it. You can't. With, I mean, Archer's used to prosecuting people, you know, in the high court. He's like underbelly types. Yes. Carl Williams yep, types. That's Mitt right. Types. Should Mitt right. ever be in trouble. Yep. Oh, God help us if that happens. Mm. And uh, look, uh, so the Maroons have a penalty. They're on the halfway. Here's Cam. Don't call me anything but Cam. Now, away they go. They're coming back on the card table side. They decide to have a bit of a crack here. They like Gaz here, don't they? They Roy? do. Yeah, everyone loves Gaz. The uh, the French <laughs> connection. The fire up, bitch. Uh, here he comes, Thide. Shimmy, tackle, shimmy, whoosh, whoosh man. man. And I tell you what, we haven't seen a shimmy, shimmy, whoosh in what, about five seasons. <laughs> no, there was one on, caught on film, which they do replay from time to time. Oh, yes. There's a bit of that work uh, missionary style. Now yep. they get up and uh, they play it close to the line. Yeah, they they go one way. A lot, a lot of oh, they picked that. They picked that. They held me out. They caught him. Here's Stuart. Here's Stuart. Is he going to beat, beat a tackle? No. no. Sadly. I thought he might have been in the goal area, but he's not. No, uh, back there go. they go he's into the... shimmy whoosh. Oh, oh, thanks oh, for the shimmy. Yes. Whoosh. Bon voyage, parvenu. Mm. Uh, back it goes now. Still the blues close oh, to that line. Force he's back. Oh, oh, look, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. And he's, he's lost the, the ball, ball. out of try. try. Cam's calling it a try. try. Cam's happy. Try. That's a try to Cam oh. Smith. 
That oh, is brilliant. Yes, if that's Unless a... he blew the whistle. Oh, come on, Archer. Give us a look at it. I'd... Oh, come on, mate. Unless he blew the whistle Fair's before. Fair. He didn't blow nothing. Have a look at this. This is amazing this play. Is you Hoffman, don't often see push that. Back. That is great. He's called in there. He loses the ball. Lost the ball. Cam yeah, picks it up. Yeah, right. What's wrong with that? Oh, he's made a big boo boo there. I think. Oh, mate, he must have been called held. Actually, he must have. Right. Yeah. Oh no, that was shocking. Blue. Here's state. Hoffman again. He's, he's glutton for punishment, isn't he? He, he loves it. Yes, I mean, that's uh, right. I mean, he's you couldn't find anyone sillier on the planet tonight than Hoffman, apart from Gallon. Oh, Gallon. Bird. Totally, totally bird. He grew oh, a mo. Yeah, yeah. He grew a mo. Bird. Mm. Well, I mean, is there anything? Well, what a sli- mistake that is. <laughs> that's right. Come get me, boys. <laughs> I've got a mo on. I mean, that was great. It's just made you a target, didn't it? Oh, now they've lost the ball. Oh, he's lost the ball. Uh, was he called held? No, he was called held. Okay. Oh, uh, no, he might be playing a knock-on, in which case it might be a maroon feed. Let's well, see the Blues this... look a bit shamefaced here. Yeah, they do. They're now, just what... making mistake after mistake here. The uh, Maroons are completely up. Now, them. let's see. Was there a strip? Was there a strip? No, I don't think there's here? a strip. He knocked oh. over there. There's oh, yeah, over. it was a strip. Was, uh, uh, I don't know. I think he made a mistake up there, not giving it a try. That is a strip, that by the way. I'll go back to yeah, that. Yeah, I'll take yeah. it all back. Yeah, what it'll I said. be a Blues feed. Well, let's have a look she, here. No, nah, it's a maroon stri- feed. He's oh, well. Oh, well. He made a mistake. He knows he made a mistake Archer's up the other end. Archer's made a mistake here. Yeah, Archer's made a mistake. But he knows he made a mistake with that try up the other end because yeah. that was dead set. That was a dead set. Perfect. Perfect for Oh, no, he's yeah. trouble. Here. They're gonna, unless they get up, they're going to get penalised again. They've got yeah, to just well, they're trying to slow him down. Oh, my God, he's a personality oh, fighter. He's, he's, he's what you call a character. A character. I'll tell you what, that hair's got a life of its own too, mm. hasn't it? Oh, good yeah. play the ball too in there. Yeah. Oh, they're making it easy. Yeah, it's quick play the balls. That's what it's all about. That's yeah. their go, isn't it? You can that see why they want to slow them down. And I'll tell you what, if I'd a grew a moustache, you'd think, oh, what a character. <laughs> Wouldn't you? You think he's, he's got to try even... hard, not like Bird. No, he's an even bigger character now. Yeah. It's all, all Bird said to me tonight is, look at me, I've got a mo. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing else going on there. There's the oh, kick. no, this is oh, worse. He's oh, he's trouble. He's trouble. trouble. Oh, well, he's going to break oh. a tackle. No. What no. was this guy doing here? The five just falling over there. No, very good there. He's good. He'll to... inject a bit of spark. No, they'll try and do the same thing again, I bet. Mm. Oh, no, he has to fall over, does he? Who's that there falling mm. over? Oh, no, that's one. That's Stuart again. No. Uh, back it comes now. Giddley at dummy oh, half. Oh, I'm no. not sure about that. Here's the 17. Is this Simpson, Steve Simpson? Simpson. Steve Simpson. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that wasn't Wonderful a bad way. bit of go forward. No, they're in a tight position. Giddley at dummy half again. Yeah, where's Badiris, though? Oh, no. uh, Badiris is, oh, uh... is this your fire up bitch in the bottom of that? Probably it is. Yeah. yeah. No, it's Cooper. Oh, Cooper, the fire up bitch look alike. Yeah. Is he going? Is there any talk of him going? No, nah, Coop's a stain with Coop's brown stain. polish. And is he going to? Is he going to partner Dell? Yeah. On one side. That's oh, right. they're going to have to kick there. Oh, there's oh, look the at mustache that man. Yeah. Oh, what a good kick, kick, Birdie. Oh, if only you thought about it. This. Oh, Slater. Slater. Oh, god, he's a determined run, isn't it? Determined he's, run. He's, the people have bagged him. Yeah. Bagged him. That's why he's fired up tonight. Yep. They bagged him. And here's the uh, number two going for yeah, Darius Darius Boyd, two the hero. Yes. Mm. Slater thinking, I shouldn't have run so hard at him. Might have done me gas. Got his personality, isn't he? And personality. a character. Character. And if he had a mo, he'd be complete. Well, he's package. got a mo with the beard. I mean, he's got all the hair. Oh, yeah, he's, he's got he's everything, doing... you know. I just meant a mo by itself. I wasn't thinking of beer. So he could have play match the mo and buttocks with him. Yeah. Uh, and there's uh, the Maroons make a yard. Now they're coming up to the fifth tackle on this set. 46 minutes gone. Yeah, but it's been all. Price. It's been all oh, maroon. God. Look at the keel on that. Oh, it's unbelievable. The depth. Yeah, the, the depth, depth of the keel. The keel. Yeah. Here we go. They'll have to kick here, I think. There's oh, a little yes, chip Cam in. Smith. Oh, he flagged oh, that. Oh, no. no. Was... Goal line drop out over the end. Yes, oh, Inglis. Very Inglis. good. Great That's defense. brilliant work. Great defence. And that was Steve Turner. Brilliant work. He made uh, Turner look very ordinary. Would he look better with the brown polish on him? Yes, I suppose he would. I suppose he would. But uh, if we have a look here, yeah. Yep, oh, great defence there from Inglis, and it? that was uh, that was English, yeah. But yeah. it was Cam Smith, cunning Cam, who got that, who he... uh, snuck that ball through there <laughs> off the foot. It's almost as though he played for the restart. Oh, it's not a very good kick. No, it's a bit of a wobbler, isn't it? Yeah, only forty metres. And look at the gap they've got to run out of. Yeah. Here's Price coming. Oh, look at oh, the look at the, key, look look at the, the depth. depth. Yeah. Uh, now, now let's there. see if we can get a character or a personality involved. Well, I think we might be able to. Here it hey, comes. Oh, oh, no. Inside the ball. No. Dummy, dummy to the personality. Yeah, and that might be... Because uh, the personality really pulls him. He, he pulls him in, sucks in the defence. That's Harrison there with the ball. Play, yeah. Getting up playing dummy half. Dallas Johnson. Hello, out here we go. Slater, Working out wide. Oh, they're oh. trying to... That's good play there. Good D there. That was good D there. That might have been Cooper, was it? No, Cooper. I don't think so. It's the lad... Oh, Hoffman. 
Was mm. it? Yeah, Wade comes oh, he's the person that got his character. He's running across. God, he reminds me mm. of Cliff Lyons. You only have to half close your eyes when he does that jiggy yeah. run. Oh, well, Jeff know. Robinson, he reminds me Jeff of. Jeff the wild man from Belmore. Yeah, the family club, the entertainers. Yeah. Oh, there's a great pass. Oh, he's got him around him. Can he get in? No, he can't. He throws it back up. And I think that's what's that going to be? A... Well, I think he threw it forward, HG, in which case it'll be, I think, it a should restart be a 20, 20 metre tap. Yeah. Restart, you'd have to think. And uh, Willie's but not But great out there. attack. Uh, well, they're not uh, missing anything, are they? With no, Willie that's out there. True. Oh, I prefer seeing Willie on the bike, to be honest. <laughs> That's, that's where I think he does most of his damage. <laughs> that's the shot of the night, isn't it? Willie mm, on the bike. Willie on the bike. There's Cooper taking Cooper the ball up. with the polish, the brown polish. Mm. I wonder if they've got any more. Do you reckon the Morris twins would be Oh, they found wouldn't be found Willie at this level. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because they could easily be replaced. Well, they've got an uncanny, you know, understanding between each other because they're they twins. The twins. Here one he is always now. knows where the other one is. Here's the nut boy out there now. Oh, there's Willie. Oh, good one, Will. Yeah, just probing forward. Yeah, worming his way up. Badera's allowed to run Here's Wallace. 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 Oh, he throws oh, he the got the ball away. That's, That's all good. right. He keeps it alive. Then they've got it back. Now they've got a chance to go through the middle, but he's knocked over. We played 48 minutes, 48, almost 49 minutes. Oh, oh that ball might have gone forward, I think. Yes, he's, he's calling that one back. Yeah, about time. Well, comedy. Archer was right on the spot there, and he'll prosecute that case of it being forward. I mean, there's nothing you can do to get out of this. I mean, once he's got his teeth into an argument, he, that is Archer. Yeah. He won't let it, it go, will Oh, he? no, he won't let that one go. Oh, no yeah. way. Queensland with the ball. Uh, the error is eight to six more. Yeah, but the Maroons is. have had the ball. Uh, no, I'd say they've had true. at least seventy-five percent of the ball. <laughs> no, yeah, you look can't at the keel. Look at the, the depth of that keel. Look, look at the depth. He's put down There's Gallon got an idiot. Put, put, put the no word totally in front of that. And you're happy. Yep. You've got the complete package. Yep. And uh, there's uh, Maroons taking the ball forward there, the face out wide, looking for work. He's there the is, character. Isn't he a character? No, he's a real character. I love the way he hits so the ball. So do I. He hits down. anything and oh, falls over. He's funny. He's funny. He's funny. Now they've got some yards here. Kick on the outside. Can they get the run? That was JT running That's the ball a wonderful through. Wonderful kick. There. Can Stewart oh. beat a tackle here? Is he going to beat a tackle? No, oh, no, he's not. He hasn't got a hope. Now, Roy, you'd have to think about changes for Origin three. You mm. know, I mean, I know we've got another. Uh, well, I think the Morris twins the Morris. will have to get involved because they've got an uncanny understanding. One always knows where the other one is. And they've got the brown polish. Yeah. And the brown polish has worked so well tonight. Yeah. With, the uh, keel's coming off, has she? Isn't that great? Yeah. I just hope they've got somebody who can provide a bit of stability in depth. Well, that's what you'd be... Ho- well, Petro. Petro's out there. Well, Petro's a solid influence, isn't he? he a very solid and timely. Timely, influence. Yeah. Uh, oh, the personality brilliant. went very low, and he might have hurt himself, the uh, oh, personality. No, I, I, I hope think, not. Yeah, neither do I. Because we need so characters I. in this game. We, we don't do. want to see any characters wiped out. I tell you what, that's what, what the game's going to lose when the parvenu boy moves on. Well, he's not a character or a personality. No, true. He's going to have to kick it here. Oh, he got almost taken out, knocked around there, and he gets it straight to BS. Oh, he he's been the one. tackle. He's gone through. Been he's through. his feet. Oh, there's a chance. He looks to unload. They can't find anybody in Ducks. A swinging arm there. And Princey's there. There's Cooper oh, all he's over trouble. him. Cooper all over him. Oh, he pulled the penalty, he pulled, Roy. Yep, he's done it again. A perfect example of the brown polish. Yep, yep. Oh, you can grin about it, Cooper. Go back and tell Nathan how you went on Wednesday night and ask whether the Morris twins could do a little bit better. And I think you'll find the answer is Y-E-S. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. A bit of a grin there. A bit of a, yeah, but you're a fool. You're he a knows fool. The rules. And I tell you what, when Archer prosecutes a, a, case, a case like that of holding down, there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> no. You can't argue with it. No, that's right. You know, it's not as if there's, you know, you know, a, a jury there. <laughs> you know, get the defence up yeah. for it. Yeah, I mean, Archer doesn't work that way. He just prosecutes. Yeah, that's true, true. If he'd swapped over and be, oh... Yeah, good one, Will. Now, hang no, on. Yeah, well, no, I, I, think right, gonna, well, I think you've got to call that a strip, aren't we, Willie? Yeah, there's two men strip. That's stupid. That's just stupid. If Willie's been stupid again... No, no, they're saying Willie's done well. They're tapping him on the shoulder. So it's going to be a knock-on with a blues feed, is it? Now, let's yeah, see think... if there's a strip involved here with Willie. Well, I'd call that I'd a strip. I'd call that a strip. And yeah. there's two men. And I think we might... Uh, is that we're going to go upstairs for this one? Well, that's got to be a two-man strip. I don't understand a more clearer interpretation of the rule. That's got to be a strip. And, and, uh, and a hint of a chicken wing in that too, wouldn't there be? He knows it. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, Cam. Cam wants it to go oh, upstairs. I know. He's, he's reversed it. He's reversed it. He's reversed it, as you should. Cam knew. Cam knew it was stolen in possession. You call that a steal. And I tell you what Archer doesn't like, and that's theft, larceny. He doesn't like last near on the rugby league field. He doesn't. Now, what's going to happen? No, he's laying down the law. He's, he's, he's got the prosecutor's wig That's on. That's right, he's laying down the law. <laughs> He'll be wearing... <laughs> is he going to have a shot at goal here? Yeah, of course he is. And why wouldn't he? No, right-o. Why so wouldn't he? There's the, the keel score. having a walk. I love to see a walking keel. <laughs> 
Now, yeah. says Bellamy. Well, there's nothing Bellamy can do. It's what does he Bellamy can put on the shorts oh, and boots and go the out there? I oh, tell the you personality. What, Doesn't he look funny on a bike? I tell you what, he'd pump a few volts into this joint, wouldn't he? On the well, bike? he'd have to do a little more than he was doing when we saw him there. Actually. He was I know. in bugger all. It looked as if he'd he's been got, shot. He's got to pedal around. So we've got JT mm-hmm. off a stupid Willie Mason penalty. Yep. Typical of Willie. That's his go. Mm-hmm. Especially as he's in the new face. Now, this is straight in front. Can he kick this? I can't quite see him. Oh, there. I think he'll kick this, actually. He's hiding behind Archer. He's going to come mm-hmm. around from behind Archer. Mm-hmm. He's got it. So the scores move along to 18 nil. This is getting to be a bit of a task for the Blues. You are experiencing a night of mutual disdain between the Blues and the Maroons. And it's live on Triple J. OK, the big changes are, Roy... That they've set the Queensland have set the back line a lot deeper. Yep. They're penalising holding down in the tackles. Yes. Which must have been an enormous advantage yep. in the first one yep. if you went back and had a look. Oh, indeed. Yes, and, indeed. And, so it's a faster game of rugby league and it suits the faster team and the Maroons and the, are the faster team. And the slider team. And now yep. here's a bit of a wrestle on going down here. They, yep. they don't want to give away a penalty here. Yep. Or they let them off. And I'll tell you what, price has made a difference to this team. Price has made You've a got to have a deep keel. And the other thing is players playing in their correct positions. Yes, themselves, doesn't yes, it? yes. This crocker here, HG, getting a bit of a well, spreading of the legs. Uh, something the, to go uh, on with, put the feet up, you yep. know, and have a look at what might go in. Mm. Uh, Petro again. and uh, Well, they don't miss anything with Petro out there. I mean, I mean, Petro's a solid a solid rugby league citizen, isn't he? He is. Could he be seen as a second keel to this Queensland ship? I think he is. I think, it, I think it is a twin keeled pack, isn't it? Crocker. Crocker in the when, I, when you compare it with the, you know, the, the, the lunatic brigade in the Blues, I, know, I mean, you wouldn't but, call Willie a keel, would you? You wouldn't, no. You'd or, call him a winged keel. Yeah, that's right. And a loose wing keel. Yeah. About Stuart, I found wanting at this level, Roy. For is sure. Well, he hasn't broken a tackle all night. That's somebody, what he's there for. I know. Is there somebody at St George with a brown polish who could come in? Well, I, I'd, I'd be looking at the Morris twins. Well, well we've got a lot for them to do already. <laughs> well, why don't we one at fullback? Oh, OK. Wing and fullback. Yeah. OK. Very good. Because they have this. this an uncanny ability. They each know where is the other one is. Where the other one is now, all the time. Wallace, the... are you completely satisfied that he solves the problem? No, Wallace no. has been found wanting this, yeah. uh, this time. Well, he's yeah. okay in a very slow game. Yes, where the Queensland uh, for uh, for uh, backs uh, stand very square. That's yeah. a good pass there. Out of white goes. Now yeah, where's the... Uh, the fire up bitch oh, man? Oh, 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 he's, 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 he's lost the ball. He's lost the ball. He's lost the ball. No, he lost the ball and he gabbed it again. Archer didn't see that. Back it comes now. A bit of a kick there from Wallace. He gets it right on the toe. But, but it's, it's not an attacking kick, is it? It's Look at the crowd. The crowd are yes. telling you where the ball went. Went up straight to... Slater break a tackle here. No, no. no, he did before Good that. tackle there from Gidley, I think. And, the, and, and there's the, blues. the raw bones and Gareth the... put total idiot, put total in front of it. That's right. the brains trust now. That's the Blues brains well, trust. Well, that's the stability, too. isn't it? Mm. There's, there's your experience, isn't it? And uh, now they get up... There's, your, there's your cool heads. That's right, out to Tate. Tate, no one's talking, ever talking Tate. Mm. Uh, uh, it's just, oh, okay. oh, yeah, well, oh, he does hang on, doesn't he? I like he does, that. I like that. I like that. It's good. Yeah. It's something new. Uh, almost over the horizontal <laughs> there. That's Falau yes, getting yeah. touched up. And, uh, of course, they'll be no strangers here. A lot of storm players out there tonight. Here's Petro, Big the Petro, second keel. The second keel. Not the, quite as deep as Price, but a keel nonetheless. Yeah, true. Just steady up she goes. Yep. 55 minutes played. This will be a remarkable comeback if the Blues can mount something from here. On it goes to the kick. Cam Smith there. Oh, sorry. Yes, I got it right. Yeah, you got it right. Cam, Cam. call him Cam. Cam. You can call him Cam with comfort. Here's Stuart coming back. Does he break Does he a break tackle? A tackle? Oh, no. no. And it's he even almost breaks old. his head. I think that's uh, Harrison up there. I mean, Harrison, the slowest mm. player ever to play rugby league. Yeah. Uh, got oh, that, was the, that was the... Uh, you're a zip-zip, you're, 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 you're bloody shimmy-whoosh man. I know, you're you a reverse yeah. zip man. You're yeah. French parvenu. <laughs> Uh, your croissant, your vanilla slice go, your cafe au lait. Could I suggest creme brulee? <laughs> <laughs> no, here's, here's the Willie. Oh, here's Willie. The yeah, face the face the suburbs. Yeah, good one. Yeah, yep. Willie's making the easy yards look hard. Back he goes to Baderas. Baderas away to Wallace. Wallace gets a short runner there on the inside, coming back on the other side, but the Maroons are wide awake. They read that, didn't they? It was they telegraphed. Didn't. It was completely telegraphed. That's where the Morris twins had come into their own. They've well, got they have some carry ability, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Yeah, this is. Up they go. Oh, the ball's oh, knocked. Hello. Look, here's a chance. They pick it up again. They knock knocked it forward. Knocked on by the oh, Maroons. Oh, still, that's a knock no, on there. Double knock on. Bigger bag. Come, come on, Archer. Archer. Come on, Archer. Prosecute something. Prosecute something Now, the first here. knock on, I think, was a Maroon I think it was a Maroon knock on. I think I the do. Blues will be on attack here. And I think that if the Blues don't score here, it's going to be a zip, blot, donut result for them. <laughs> Let's have a look here. Up they go. I reckon that's a blue knock-on. No, I don't think so. 
Let's have a look what he, I don't what think he so. rules. I don't think so. Oh, look at the comedy of errors. Comedy of errors, It's the Mark, Marx Brothers meets the Three Stooges. Yeah, yeah, no, blues right. feed. Here blues we go. Feed. If they don't score here, now look how shallow they're standing in attack. Get deep. They've got nowhere to run. They've got nowhere to run. They can't get up ahead of steam as we see... Uh, this might uh, be Carmichael Hunt coming back it out. It is Carmichael Hunt coming back out. No, he's found a ruck infringement. I always like a scrum infringement. Oh, look yeah, at that look technical at that. thing. Look at that, mm. kids. If anybody's thinking about refereeing, that's why you get involved. So you yeah. can point and shout at the scrum. Okay. Get people to do what you want to do. Wallace. Let's see. What have they got? What have they got? What have they got? A cutout pass to him. Yeah, well, we don't want him. And uh, we know what him's going to do. Oh, hang on. He's paid a what? Oh, uh, penalty. He's penalty. And uh, Gidley's been all over Gasney tonight. All over him like a rash. I've never, ne- never known a, a, you know, a first grade footballer to be made look so ordinary as tonight. Uh, uh, you mean the whoosh man? Yeah. Here we go. Butterball. Butterball gets it away to a runner who's just come on. Yeah, Ooh, that might he's... be Gallon the total idiot, isn't it? No, no, no. no. It's uh, one of the uh, bench players. Oh, Tupu, okay. I think. 15 in uh, Tupu. Away Tupu, comes down. Okay. Wider out. Wallace looks for a way oh, forward. Okay, here we go. Go to oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here, Cooper. Oh, Cooper. Now, Cooper, what's Cooper, Cooper done? Cooper, Nothing. can't do anything. Well, they'll just have to watch that player coming in late. But anyway, they got they got out of that, OK. Then it's on to the lad who got two tries in yeah. the first one. Well, and that's comes, a good move there. Uh, yeah, well, that was oh, dangerous, that bloke, wasn't it? The bloke standing alongside of him. Why wasn't he 10 metres Don't run him? sideways. You run forwards yeah, in rugby right. You go yeah, forwards. This is looking a bit better. Gidley, Gidley now, a 5'8". Oh, Gidley, Bird is kicks. off. Oh, it's a bit oh, fat. Good, call, uh, good, good kick there, Gids. Where was that going? Yeah, good one, Gids. That was just boot yeah. the ball out of bounds. They... Uh, in a touch, they had a, they had a chance. I'd say they butchered a try, Roy. Well, butchered well, a try. They butchered their careers, I'd say. Gillio, this has been the last this time I've seen him in a blue Guernsey. Oh, now, look, look at this. This is just mad. Who, on his wrong foot, I bet you he's a natural right footer. Well, he didn't know and where he was on, on the left. park. Oh, he no. didn't know where he was on the park. Complete Bane explosion, Roy. Mm. And here's Dallas Johnson, who thinks he knows where he is, and he's going to be asked. And here's his Butterball. Badiris is coming back out, is he? He just had a sit down. Yeah. Uh, he, he's the only one with any sense out there, probably. He's con- oh, look at that oh. parvenu. Well, God almighty. Well, Badiris is the only bit of keel Co- we've got. Co- indeed. And it's not very deep. It's more like a Hobie cat. Mm. For those who know their uh, nautical mm. toothpick class, Hobie Cat. Mm. And there's Carmichael Hunt. He's come out crop well, that's high. A good oh, that's, that's, that's Gidley there making up for his uh, mistake, wasn't Very it? Very high. God, that guy's going to have LaFranchi. no head left. LaFranchi. Here it comes now. A bit of a run there from uh, number four, which is uh, Tate. Tate underneath all that blue. Yeah, still wearing that weird neck gear. I don't know why he I know, so he rides a motorbike. Yeah. Back to Petro, the keels out there. Yeah, there might have been a bit of a punch in the face there for... Uh... The Hannett, or whatever his name is. Uh... Hannett. Back it goes now to the kick. Now, look at this kick here. That's how to kick. Yep. Make him do something. Now, Make can him... Stewart break a tackle here? Let's see. No, oh, no, he's, he's not even going to bother. No, he's decided to pass it to somebody who can't break a tackle. Uh... Oh, that bloke. I tell you what, who would be great in a situation <laughs> like that? The Morris twins. Oh, absolutely, they know where each other were because they don't have. They don't they telegraph have this uncanny any ability. They know where the yeah. other one is. That's because uh, they're twins. Now I tell you what, he's d- destroying. Oh, good one, Willie. Oh, Willie's put his hip into that oh, one. Oh no, that's very good. That's it. Oh, oh, I lost the ball. Good one, Will. Perfect, Willie. Oh, he never lets us down, does he? I mean, no, he's always a personality, but he's too stupid. <laughs> There's always something going on when Willie Mason gets the ball. No wonder race are thrilled to bits with the purchase. Out wide it comes. Thurston with the ball now. He's knocked over, I think, about the 25 metres shy. The score in the 60th minute is 18-0. Yep. Well, I don't think see. the Blues are going to score at all tonight. They don't, look they don't deserve to, to, score, they, to, to get anything. They look like they're Cronulla. Basically, and that's because Bird and Gallon and all those people are well, out Bird's there. off, I think, at the moment. They're, oh, okay. they're not missing anything with Bird. I think Bird's been a mistake right from the off. Back it comes now to uh, Cam. Cam out wide. Oh, he's oh, got it. Easy. He's got it. Too easy. Yeah, Too easy. Too easy. Oh, hang on. Oh, we might have to go upstairs with this one. I'm not at all worried about the grounding there, Roy. But no, he's hang on. pulled he's a up restart. Something else. He's pulled a restart to the 20. Might have been a forward pass. Did he see a forward pass? Or is he going upstairs? Oh, What's right, going on here? Upstairs. He doesn't What's have going to go on here? Certainly Boyd looks uh, interested. Look, well, I that's t- a great bit of work there. That's a great oh, bit of work. That might be forward league. there. But look how he stands up, these two guys. They don't get anywhere near him. If the ball's down and he's out. He's yeah, very Crocker, Crocker likes it. But he thinks a forward pass. I think he's I, picked up a forward pass, yeah. actually. So a restart. Yeah, a restart. Wally's yeah, Wally interested. liked it. Yeah, Wally's got a moan. He looked, he looked like Greg Bird. <laughs> Blues with a ball, and now there's a, a gun, again a scrum in French. Yeah, doesn't I think Petro look good? Petro's look grabbing good. hold of uh, Willie to make it just harder for him to stand up. Oh, that's oh, beautiful. That's an interesting work. bit of work oh, there. Oh, that worked, oh. didn't it?
Lord. Lord almighty, what is going on here? This is, have these people played before, Roy, or are they just found on the bus? They were just sent up there to Dreamworld and... the Found like, themselves in a rugby league paddock, yeah. Indeed, on a rugby league mystery tour. Yeah. That's where we're going. We're going to Lang Park. We're going, where? <laughs> Very few of them knew yeah. where it was. But i tell you what, I mean, if these were horses, you'd have to have a swab, wouldn't you? You would, I mean, you would uh, completely. You, this com- is, I mean, like, this is just rubbish what we're getting tonight. And uh, two <clears> weeks ago, they were almost professional. Well, they were almost professional, but remember Queensland were completely unprofessional the last time. Oh, we that's saw true. Them. They, they Here's do big Willie again. Oh, oh, lose the ball again high. for us, Willie. Oh, Lord. Do Willie. something stupid. He is just, you know, he can, he's got the talk, but has he got the walk? No, sadly he hasn't. There's a kick going straight to Slater. Oh, Slater, can he break oh, a tackle? Oh, he Lord. often does, you know. He comes back away here. They've oh, got, yeah, he's broken a tackle. Look at this. Oh, look at that. There's yeah. two, three, still going yeah, four. four. Now blues, they're going to bloody penalty here. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Here's that Carmichael Hunt at dummy half. Back, he's good to size to the run. They're going to run up the middle. Oh, oh no, Too they're easy. Not. Oh, oh they're too not easy. Going for to run up the middle. God, that was the oldest trick in the book. Oh, for for the game. You that know, he's the, the youngest most... rugby league player to be picked up. And did you, kn- did you notice the correct way he played the ball? Yes. He made the bust, but still had the present of mind to play Stand the ball. Cam Smith, it'll look at him. Oh. Look at him working at the blind here. Oh, Crocker, oh, Crocker. 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 He might have got that down, he, you know. He's, he's Because it was only a pillow. Oh. It was only the pillow Gasney there. So you'd have to imagine, because Gasney was involved, that it's going to be a try. Are they going to go upstairs here? I well, think I don't know got... what upstairs is going to prove. They're not going to find an angle there. You've just got to say, well, on the benefit of the probabilities, because Gasney was involved. And it was Hennedy. Hennedy got it down. Let's have a look. I'm not worried about the grounding. No, I'm not worried about the grounding at all. But it's just because Gasney's there, it makes me think, God, it's got to be a try. There, look at that. The technique there. Yeah, that's a try. Yeah, that's, if he's over the, the line, line, that's a try. And look who's there as well. Big old stupid face. Oh, yeah, Willie. Yeah, just to... Here now, comes look at Gasney. Right. Just l- in with the knee. Oh, in with the knee. Good Perfect one. Perfect, Willie. Well, that's, that's Willie's go, it. isn't it? it yeah. Is. It can't, no tackling skills. Just smash him in the head with your knee. With your knee. Yeah. Well, that's, oh. a, that's a try. There's no, I, I think there's like you have no to doubt say, about the grounding. Now you're just going to have to say benefit of the doubt. And if that's the case, try. You've got And Willie, of course, coming in late with a knee. That's with a nice knee, yeah, cake. yeah. Nice touch. Well, that's what gets kids in. That's what makes parents say, oh, well, rugby league might be the one for my kids. It is. Look at this late. Yeah, here comes he the leaves. knee. There it goes. Bang. Bang, Straight right in the, the neck. Yeah. Oh, that'd be coach from the wrestling coach. He has the presence of mind to get the ball out. Are you worried about losing control in there? No, yet? not at all. No. That's a try. Four points. And they were robbed of a try earlier. They so, were. So they this were. is a complete bath. Yeah. Oh, he's very... Cam Smith's very interested. Yeah, well, Cam's called it a try. I mean, Cam's been calling a lot of the shots out there tonight. And so's Hannah. Very pleased. Yeah. Let's have a look at what... Uh, who's on the uh, on the go? Is it Bert Newton on the uh, video tonight? No, I think it might be Don Lane, actually, so I don't know what we can expect. <laughs> well, let's have a look at what Don's... Anyway, he loves his rugby league. Mm. It's going to be... Ref's, Ref's call! call yeah. Probability! Try. Try. Well, Don Lane made the right decision. That's a great Hannon try. Yeah. I don't think he's scored before in his life. Well, I know. It was just great having Gasly. I knew once Gasly was there, it had to be a try. <laughs> sure as eggs. So it's sure 22. Eggs, 22 to nil. And uh, is this the biggest bath we've seen at this level? I think for some time. It's a long time since there's been no score for the Blues. Yeah. Um, and what a triumph for Mal Meninga in front of the uh, team of the century. I know, I know. You know, how much Mal for I mean, there's no bigger buzz, is there? There's no bigger high. No, I, I know, I know. It, it is a great thing, rugby league, yeah, isn't it? It is. especially at this level. She's a charmed old girl sometimes, it, rugby it, league. It I mean, sometimes the gods of rugby league will come down and just bless you. Uh, you don't know why. you just got to shrug and say, thank you, rugby league. I know. You, there's no rhyme or reason. Look no. at this, the pass there. They give pass it was perfect. Straight to Gasnia. In yep. comes stupid old Willie Lake trying to take his yep. head off with a knee. He couldn't stop. Look, if you're going to do that, you've got to get the bloke knocked out. Well, you've got to get him in the nose for a start. Yeah. And that was the perfect opportunity you to knee him in the up. nose. Now, JT. i tell you who's played a much better game tonight is JT. Oh, JT's been great. And, and, Cam. and Prince give him has given him, the, given him the space. Yeah. And he clocks out over the score. 24-0. Nothing there? We're back. You are experiencing a night of mutual disdain between the Blues and the Maroons, and it's live on Triple J. 
Mal goes up. The Maroons go up. The uh, Henry, yeah. the genius behind it all, and the Maroons get the ball back. How much the weight of possession mm. be? And I'm just wondering if uh, our stats man can work out it, what is the record score yeah. with no score involved. Yeah. Look, in I don't line. think there's ever been a nil. A no, there's been nil. nils. Has there oh, been yeah, nils? Yeah. Really cool nil, but eight nil and five yeah, nil. Yeah, five nil, nil, that sort of stuff. Yeah. So here's Crocker. Crocker wishes to get out there. Look, I love it good. when Crocker goes out, you know, because yeah. something's going to happen. You would know that. Yeah. For, for sure. Because Crocker's a bit of a personality. Sure, a small P, and he doesn't have, you know, the beard and the mo and the funny <laughs> hair and that sort of stuff. But he's got all the other attributes, hasn't he? And I tell you what, Falau's been great. And I tell you what, English has been great. I tell you what, they didn't have a game at all in the first one, but they've had more than a game in this one. And remember, it was another Falau English break that got them that yeah. try, got them up the path yeah. there. They yeah. just can't handle it. And I tell you who's the, the unsung hero, Scott Prince. Scott Prince, indeed. And they haven't got in their there's road. There's Scott Prince there now, involved they, now. They haven't got in each other's road, like no. it's rumoured that they would. No. This is where the Morris twins would come into their own. Yeah. Josh and, what's his other name? Jash. Yeah, Josh and... Oh, let's say... Slippery. Yeah, Slippery. Slippery too. <laughs> the Blues have the ball deep in Maroon territory. we played 65 minutes. And honestly, they haven't looked likely, except just before half-time, have yeah. they, Roy? No, they haven't. No, no. Look, I think a call, the call will go out and the cry will become deafening for the Morris Twins, without doubt. Have you... Maybe we should work on a bit of a slogan, almost a forward pass there is, uh, I think, one of the... You Gallon back out, got his but, media, put the word total in front of it and you get the picture. Oh, no, how can that be? He was completely held. Oh, Arch has gone silly. Now, players come from... Oh, no, oh hang on. Back. No, oh, English oh, involved. Oh, oh, hang what's on, he's got, what's he prosecuting now? Can't quite, did you get an idea of what happened there? It's a knock-on. Yeah, I think you'll play a knock-on. But he'll have to which, set the feed down. Yeah, yeah, down. it may well be a maroon feed. Or he might no, see, might have seen a strip in it. I'm not sure. Well, the only thing that worried me was... Was there a bit of a strip there? there? No. Nah. Only one. Oh. oh. Might have been a maroon knock-on. Or is he claiming it was a steal? No, it was a knock-on. He's called a knock-on, but he too. Maroon feed. Maroon feed. feed, okay. So it was a Blues knock-on. How, how have you seen Archer's game tonight? Well, I think Blues. Archer's been good. I, I've got no problems with Archer. Look how straight the Maroons are running their back line. I, There's a lesson there. You don't run sideways. You go straight. I, Get your lines right. Look at this. They just charge up the middle. That's not the rudder out there again, is it? No, no I don't the think rudder's so. offside. Mm. Back it comes now. Look, and they're just There's busting them up. There's the rudder's offside of the little rudder. They're busting them up the middle here. Yeah. They're just making easy yards. And that's our guns there. You know, the nose man. Yeah. Your point nose man. Yep. yep. And, uh... Yep. <laughs> yep. Here they go. They're making easy yards against slides. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at It's just it's too easy. It's become a too, clinic, hasn't it? Because it's complete they've clinic. lost their heart and they've lost their bottle. They just want the to get blues. out of there. They and do. I think they were going to make a presentation in the rooms afterwards because... Yes! Oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Oh, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. That is highlight. Oh, put that on your highlight reel, ladies and that's gentlemen. That's Falau. That that's is brilliant. Right. That's JT and Falau. That's a little bit of magic there. Meninga magic. That would have been rehearsed all week. And it's lovely when these rehearsed moves come off. And look how they took out the blue player completely. Yeah. The ball didn't go. Well, up. all the blues suddenly became irrelevant. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, That's... he's going to check that. No, oh, no, he's on side. That's all There's right. There's the thing. It doesn't bounce. The player thinks it's going to yeah. bounce up. Not a hope. Look at that. That is yeah. brilliant. Sorry, I, I call that as a JT. It was uh, Scotty Prince who put that uh, kick through. Uh, that's just brilliant. That's it just brilliant. Of course, when you've got confidence, when you've got two steady, deep rudders... And Prince, and, it's a confidence game. Well, then, they, well, that's right. Then you, your razzle-dazzle can come out on the back of that. But you've got to have the rudder there. And the, 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 the Blues, you know, supposed to, to, to have the better, the superior pack, have been totally rudderless. Yeah, you cannot call Mason a rudder. Go back to the original... He's an anchor. Yeah, true. An anchor, that's true. An anchor. I, look, stern... Is the word I find I often think of Mason going yeah. astern? Oh, I thought you were going to talk about the stern report. <laughs> Not the stern report. No, no. Well, that's interesting because the carbon footprint. Yeah, exactly. I thought you were anything. following that up. No, I wasn't. Astern, in mm. you know whatever the term of reversing the ship. But I've got to say is mm. I've got to say is that they go back to Origin One. All the talk was mm. that this is what Queensland would do. Yeah. Now. They play a dud match. All of a sudden, New South Wales Blues are geniuses. Yes. Of course, nothing's changed in Queensland. They just get their game together. That's and right. Better. That's right. Yeah. This is the game. This is this is six the, from six. Yeah. Look at this. This is the A game that they didn't bring to Sydney. Absolutely right. We've got yeah. 20, uh, 28 nil. Yeah. I think unless I've misread the score. Yeah. The scoring. 
and he's got a, a wide out kick, but six from six for Thurston so far. Yep. No, he'll kick this. I mean, he's, he's a confidence player, Thurston. Confidence player. And they, the night can't go on long enough. No, no. These are the nights when you want the, you know, the game to be you know, 400 minutes long. Yeah, instead of 40 yeah. each way. Yeah. We've got 28 nil, and Thurston lining up for his seventh see, shot. He goal. can see it going through, can't he? He can. He, he can saw see it, in his it eyes. Going, He saw it in his eyes. No. Yep. Yes! He brought that around. What a kick. 30 to nil. 30 to She's nil. She's a bath time. now. Well, this is what they predicted with the first match, H.E. You're quite right that the Maroons had the superior back line. I tell you, he'll be disappointed tonight, and that's Hodges. Hodges would love to be out there oh, tonight. Would. Hodges, yeah. You know. Would. Yeah, and I yeah. thought they'd miss Hodges tonight, but they haven't. They certainly haven't. And Inglis has really stepped up. I mean, he was wasted on the wing in Origin 1, but uh, what a tremendous player he is. And how ordinary he's made Gaznier look. Oh, it, it, but then again, that, no big problem, that. Right. I mean, you could it put anyone out, out there. Week in, week out, Gaznier's made look ordinary by a lot less players than him. No, well, that's right, that's true. I mean, I don't know any player in the NRL that, that doesn't play for St George that hasn't made Gaznier look ordinary. Absolutely right. Mm. And we've got uh, Boyd with two tries. We've got Folau with a couple. And yeah. Thurston's kicked the, you know, kicked the crap out of it. Yeah. Oh, no, it's an old-fashioned lesson. And Hannett hasn't been found wanting either. No, he's got a try too. He's got a try to his name. And here comes the rudder. And how must that punter feel who mm. put the half million on Queensland the first time out? He was just one match away from well, it. Well, I assume he's, uh, he's put a half million on the Blues tonight. <laughs> 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 Probably you're right. Is that sort he's of that skin? sort of idiot? Yeah, yeah he's right. Willie Mason type. Yeah, <laughs> there's a kick from JT. JT, oh, he got oh, that. Oh, that's kick. all right. Doesn't but, matter. Wouldn't matter who had it. No, oh, I think it, uh, it's not going to matter now. It's not going to matter now. This guy here, the little I mean, there's guy just going to be well. a steely determination now in the in the, uh, determination yes. in, the, in the Maroons now not to allow them to get the a Blues point. to score. Yeah, they only have to hold out for nine minutes. Yeah. Uh, back it goes now. Oh, he's Is that the, the raw, raw bones. bones back out comes. Oh, he's yeah. jangling them the up. Raw bones are looking a bit old, aren't they? The, they raw bones. the blues are looking a bit tired. Yeah, and, and I tell up. you what, this score's going to be hurting the blues mentally. Oh, it must be. Must you know, be. just mentally. I mean, picture it mentally how this is affecting them. I mean, yeah. Physically, you sure you can understand it. Everyone can, but mentally. Oh, mentally. Can I just ask whether you feel as though they spent too much? time with the bloke who told them about going up and down Everest? No, I think they've spent too much time reading their own press. Yeah, I reckon that's the case. And Willie has just talked You know, they've up. come here with, with uh, you know... Oh, they got the ball back. Oh, Maroons well done, ball back. Petro. Oh, well, I mean, what oh, no, a... he's play on. I thought they might no, have... No, not a steal, not a strip. No. Not, not, that's not his go, Petro. He's no. just a keel. <laughs> the <laughs> he's just... Yeah, he is on the... Uh, look, here's, oh, there's the bitch man yeah. there. Just holding him and down. what a luxury to have two big keels in your side. It's fantastic. Steady. And Price has had a wonderful night, of course. Yeah. Just everything you'd expect. As has this bloke. Yeah. Mm. The, the, the Inglis. What a, oh, what amazing. What a great... You saw the best out of Inglis and yeah. also for Lau. You see why they're raved about as the, the future of Australian rugby yeah. league. Yeah. Is this Crocker in No, had it. Had it. The yeah, try, the try, one try, 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 try hero. The one try hero. Yes, yeah. he, he put the sealer. And what a night for Cam Smith. Oh, been brilliant. And JT. And Let's JT. Not forget to... Oh, oh look at razzle, that. The razzle, razzle, razzle. The entertainers, they're back. Oh, that was incredible. Completely found wanting at this level, most of the Blues. They've yep. got to go back to base and get some yep. young kids yep. in yep. here. Here we Can go. I we suggest... could see a bit of razzle razzle here. Prince has gone to the oh, air. Oh, here we go. They've here got a plan go. to beat. They wait. They take him and they dump him. Throw. Oh, oh. Surrender tackle. Roy I would have called that. That should be a penalty. We're going to wipe this out of the game. Oh, he's back in a touch, is he? Great oh, tackle there. great tackle. Oh, I mean, this Tate. Everybody's talking Tate all of a sudden. Yeah. Back he comes now. That's about the third tackle Here's now. Here's Bird oh, back oh, on. Love going... you, Mo, Birdie. Mm. Worth the grow, oh, mate. Oh, yeah. That's just fantastic. Here comes Cooper, is it? Out of... Uh, no, no, it's Stewart. Stewart. Has mean, he ever broken one, a tackle? Totally oh, found one. Yeah, that's Never true. broken a tackle outside Fortress Brookie. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a fact. Darius. But Darius runs in. He tries to pull a penalty by running it off. They go back. They go. That's great. The fence there again. Yeah. Who's the little bloke there? It's um, must be. It, that, that was uh, Nate Miles, I think. Yeah. He's back on. They had to kick early there to get some, give him a break. Straight to Slater. I mean, who coached these guys with a kicking game? Not one kick has bounced anywhere near. No. You know, open space. Yeah. They've all been caught. Straight down the throat, Thurston, queued yeah. up for work. Great anticipation, though, from Slater on that occasion. Oh, true, he can read the play. He can read well. the play. I mean, yeah. he can read their minds, can't he? Yeah, he messes with their heads. He messes with their heads. I mean, the only way you can defeat that... Here he comes, have... he's back oh, the on, and look, he's back, coming yeah. out. I, I tell you what, you wouldn't have that mind-reading stuff going on uh, 
if you had the Morris twins. No, there. you wouldn't. You wouldn't. The only mind reading would be going on between the Morris twins. <laughs> it's, it's uncanny. It's uncanny. It's uncanny, uncanny they, ability to know where each other is. Yeah, at all but times. Could you uh, see the Morris uh, call? You know, Roy Masters or you know mm. uh, Steve Mascord leading tomorrow with Morris's need to be there. I can. Oh no, Lord! Oh no, oh no! Oh, no. Is that our him? shimmy whoosh man it back is. there? Oh, that was calculated to mess with his head. Mm. Back they come now. The Blues have been completely up. Oh the yes, ball. he's passed it on. Here's a chance on the outside. English, 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 English two to be. Oh no, the tour right. They've got plenty of time left. They've got plenty of tackles. They mm. could get it. They're going to chew up a Great lot. Great defence here. though for Maroons. That's wonderful play. That ladder. Oh, look at his personality. God, he's changed things, doesn't he? Wouldn't you love to see him go over for a try? Oh, you'd love that. Possible. Everyone would love to see that because he's such a character. He's got the mo. He's got the beard. He's Ages got everything. Beard. Yep. Look at the deep. Look at the depth. Here oh, oh, too easy. Oh, too easy. Oh, too deep. Just a bit fat for Falau. Yeah. That well, was Slater was kicking, and that's a mistake. Slater's not a kicker. That's not his go. He's an idiot, and he does apologise. And rudder First two is off. is off. Rudder two is off. Yeah, so rudder one might be back on the deep rudder. Yeah. And I'd love to see Petro get on the bike. Well, I'd love to see Petro score a try. Oh, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Mm. Mm. Oh, OK. I've got a note here saying the Queensland's best win mm-hmm. was 36-6 in Brisbane in 1989. Oh, I remember that night, yeah. It was incredible, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. So this is equal to that, 30-point win. Yep. Yep. Mm. Yep. Yep. And they, I don't think they're finished yet either, actually. I mean, there's still a lot of rugby league left. Oh, here. there's a lot of rugby Five league. Five and a half left. minutes. I mean, whenever they the can Maroon, hurt you. They can hurt whenever you. Whenever Maroons get the ball, they look as though they oh, got fancy easy. work there. Beautiful work, Blues. It, God Almighty, they're good when they put on the razzle it, razzle. It wasn't they? Stewart who pulled that chestnut out of the fire, was it? <laughs> Not, it could have been any one of them, actually. The, I mean, they, the, we're the all stupidity's able. been. Sp- you know, spread around rather evenly tonight. Uh, here he is. Oh, big Willie. Thanks, Will. Thanks for coming, Will. Mm, it was good. Mm. So they got the uh, Carmichael coming up into the dummy half, uh-huh. and uh, then they set that play, and they've got four to go, and they've got about thirty metres. Do you think they can do that, Roy? I don't think they possible? can do anything this team at the moment. They just yeah, that Prince, 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 Prince shows the ball, the ball twice. Oh, there it goes, away it goes. They got Tate now. Tate with the ball. He's back coming in. He steps one way. They got two more tackles in which to do something here. And Crocker, the loonies out there. Yeah, I don't like Crocker at dummy half. It's not a good look. No. The oh, well, he got the ball away all right. Here we yeah. go to Prince. Here we go. Bit here we go to the personality. Okay. God, he's a character. Now, they're going to have to kick here. And who's going to do the kicking? They're going to have to... Oh, Thurston, he looks exhausted. Well, Scotty Prince will do the kicking, one imagines. Yeah, OK. I mean, yeah. he might be cheeky enough to go for a drop goal. No, I don't know what that was. He said, well, weird. someone attempted Carmichael. to drop goal. Carmichael Hunt. Mm. Did it not... Uh, yes, sort of messing No, that was now. stupid. He, he was just trying to mess with his own head successfully, too. Yeah, complete failure of doing yeah, the ball. Yeah, here we go. Look, yep. he went for doesn't it. even look at the ball. No. Don't even look at the no, ball. That was just I mean, that's, you know, brain explosion. Complete brain... Oh! Head up the date. Work. <laughs> that's fantastic. Back it comes Blues with the ball after the restart. 76 minutes. Uh, and uh, the score, if you've just joined us, disbelieve this. Queensland, 30. Blues, nil. Mm. So it's an there's incredible There's that gallon there trying to get the ball away. Right? Yes. So you're winding yeah. down now in Origin 2 and all eyes back onto the return of the Morris Twins to the top flight mm-hmm. for Origin 3. Well, it's been a night, a sobering night. Oh, oh no, he got, he's big Willie. God, look oh. at Willie. Turn yeah, it on. the nut man. The nut man. Oh, oh, good one, Will. Oh. oh, he lost the ball again. How often does he do that? Was it a two... Well, they claim oh. it's a two-man strip. Oh, Lord, there was only lost. one man involved in the tackle. It was. He lost a cold. He lost a Very dead lucky. set cold. Very lucky, Willie. Now, let's see what goes on here. Yeah, he's the littlest bloke on the park. Oh, yeah, fair enough. That was Prince. a strip. Yeah, yeah. Was a oh, strip. he tried to get yeah, away. Oh, well, fair enough. Yeah, well, Sometimes you get away with it. Sometimes you don't. No. Who would you, you'd have to say if we had a medal for the worst player out there, Roy, apart from Shimmy Woosh. Mm. I mean, there you go. Oh, well, outside. Gasmere, and there's a fair bit of daylight, and then okay. I think Willie Mason. Right, Willie Mason. Now he's got a penalty. He's got a penalty inside the... Oh, no, Bloodbid. Bloodbid, oh, is it? Oh, well, fair that enough. That lad has been copping it all night to the head. Yeah. But they still haven't put him away. No. But he's got a mouse on the eye. Nate Miles, yeah. And he's got to go to the blood bin. He's got to go off. No, he's, he doesn't he understand. Doesn't go he doesn't understand what get off means. He's on Coos Bay, this bloke. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Come on, off you come. Well, I I, I'd say uh, the doctor would be there with the titanium ready, wouldn't he? Uh, the bloke that did Dell, he'd, yeah. he'd be flown up ready for this, wouldn't he? 
But the did do. Like, anyway, I'd like to meet the bloke who did Dell and say the difficulties of the job, how quickly could you do it? And where, where could you do it the same for Lockie's knee? Yeah, that's right. Could tell him up Lockie's knee. They might threaten here, though. Oh, gee, I hope not. It'd be oh. terribly disappointing for the Maroons. If okay, they they're on the third tackle. Let's stay with the game. The personality there. And they'd be terrible if they pulled a penalty and had. Oh, oh who no. was that? Oh, Diddley. No here they oh, go. Oh, here we Tate. go. Tate, 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 how fast is he? Trucker. Let's have a look at him. Warriors, think about it. Have they got a run and coming up? Yes. Have they got it away? Have they got someone there? Oh, he kicked it forward. No, oh. well, you can't blame Crocker. You, uh, I mean, uh, Crocker did well actually keep it up with him. I take my hat off to the bloke. I didn't think he was that quick. And Tate's in trouble. Oh, Tate's in a bit of trouble. But Tate, he did well, HG. Yeah, he's he incredibly did, well. You know, he, he ran 70 metres. It wasn't a bad run. The bloke might be a bit exhausted now. But uh, let's see the stupidity that came here from uh, Gidley. Look yeah. at him there. He gets away from one bounce yeah. uh, tackle. They got no pace That's to Cooper go with after him. him. Cooper That's Cooper after, after, him. after him. The Morris twins would have caught him. Of course, they would have. Back it goes. Good pass there. Didn't set him up right. They no, spread it, it well. Cro- but Crocker did well being there. Crockett did well being there to prevent yeah. it go from blue ball and I tell you what it chokes up time. Yeah. So yeah. there's a minute and a half to go basically. Yeah. Tate, I hope Tate's okay. He's been the he's a bit I don't like him normally. I'm on record as saying I hate the guy but yeah. uh, he's played very well tonight. Oh look he's been tremendous tonight uh, and, and I think he's better as a centre than he is as a uh, wing three quarter. Oh I agree. The I same agree. with Inglis. I mean Inglis has just been uh, the best player on the park tonight. And away comes Blues deep in their territory. Big oh, Willie with the on, ball. Come on, Willie, do something stupid for us, fellow. Uh, come disappoint. on, you've only got a minute and a half to do it. Come on, mate, be the entertainer. There's Nate Miles with that uh, Crimea War look it's almost. It's a Crimea War. Yeah. Benny Elias would have uh, yeah. advised him on how to do There's that. There's the Shimmy Wolfsman. Oh, almost, almost lost, lost the ball. Yeah. Back it comes now to the Raw Bones. Bones. The Bones, he's got out of one. He's got away. He threw it straight to a... He threw it straight to Crocker. Oh, As you right. would. Why not? Crocker probably called for it. probably called for it. I wonder who that... I bet you was a Storm player who had the ball. And he shouted out for it, and he gave it to him. Yep. Silly as a cut wheel. <laughs> is that possible? I don't know. I just made that up on the spot here. Here it he is. Called yeah, he called it. for it. Yeah, thanks, yeah. mate. Yeah, you yeah. That's fantastic. Bro. Very so professional, Marone, Crocker. Maroons have it, and it looks as though this one may, if they can do something well with the ball like Maker. Well, we might have a big up and under, just to finish it off. Uh, and they're out wide. Crocker now running up forward. They must know where the time is. Yep. The team in the background starting to tell them that they're very close yep. to counting it down. And here we go with a run here. They skip and a bit of a jaunt. That's Hannant there Hannett, with the ball. Well, Hannant hasn't been found more than Look at this, level. the delirious crowd. Delirious That's fantastic. Crowd, Might yep. have been <clears throat> some of Thido's people in the uh, stand there. Yep. Back it goes. So he's kicked it out now. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Well, We've we got time to... Uh... Oh, they're going to play the time. Well, they've got to play the to... Play to time, HG. Yes, the, with 10 seconds left. Let's see what happens. They kept the clock running. That's very, very professional. Here it is. They'll blow the hooter before they can pack the yeah, stuff. And Scotty that Prince is an amazing, has done a terrific job. That is an amazing What result. a night for Scotty. How, how proud his parents must be that he wasn't embarrassed at this level. It's and uh, Crocker, of course, terrific. The personality was fantastic. And you have to look at the Blues and say, well, Bellamy, the Bellamy experiment... It's been failed. an absolute failure. Yeah, the best coach in Australia. I don't think I so. I don't think so. Well, let's take these pictures. We'll come back and wrap up Origin 2 in a couple of minutes' time. This is Origin Rugby League. A game for all Australian working families across the nation. Live on Triple J. And, and so welcome back to Lang Park. What an amazing thing. Obviously, Maroon Pride was really hurting after that first shellacking. There's a man who's on his way to France. Let me tell you that for a fact. Absolutely sure and certain uh, on screen there. Look, as the Maroons greet each other, Maroon Pride was hurting when they came here tonight and they weren't found wanting in one of the greatest, most awesome displays of Maroon power ever seen. 30 points to nil. The Blues did not bother the scorer at all tonight. When we have a look at some of the second-half highlights... Uh, there was a. Uh, it started. The score was 16 nil after Willie Mason penalty. Uh, JT got yet another one. 18 nil. 65th minute. Tarrant went over. 22 nil. JT converted that. 24 nil. Falau went over it, uh, with, to make it. Uh, or Falau penalty should I say? Made it a 28 nil game. And then the 69th minute, uh, it was uh, 30 to nil was the final score. And when we look through the maroon dominance of this game, it is unbelievable. There is not a player who I think on the blue side played better than the, their counterpart in the maroon team. If you look at the forward pack, Price, old but so run alike. 
Petro Siviasina, a locomotive in attack and defence. Cam Smith had a tremendous night, allowed to do what he wanted to do. The Maroons set their back line deep, so all of a sudden the second rowers like Crocker and Thiday came into their own. Dallas Johnson mopped up. Then you come to the backs. The backs had a night out. Billy Slater kicked two all night. Darius Boy, a couple of tries. Greg Inglis, tremendous. Brent Tate had a great game. The best I've seen him play at this level for some time. Israel Folau, a couple of tries. Jonathan Thurston in everything with a boot. And his uh, scrum, his half, his half helper in uh, Scotty Prince. Thurston and Prince were just all over him like a rash. On the other hand, we'll have to have changes uh, before they come back to Stadium Australia. And on that display... It's a certainty that the Queensland will win, Roy. You'd have to think so, HG. I think the only other time that there's been a nil scored by the by either team is in 1995, and that's been the only other occasion where one of the teams has not scored at all. And was that a maroon loss? I think that was a maroon loss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this has been an extraordinary event here tonight. Uh, the Maroons played as we thought they were going to play in the first state of origin, Indeed. but were ambushed by a canny tactician. Uh, in the shape of Bellamy. But uh, once they realised what Bellamy's go was, uh, they snuffed that out completely tonight by reverting to the game they should have brought with them to Stadium Australia in the first place, and that is have a deeply set back line, as, as you pointed out, and play to their strengths, which is a tremendously quick and awesomely uh, skillful back line. And that's what we saw tonight. And uh, by playing Scott Prince, having a genuine halfback and not a fill-in, uh, a fill-in halfback, uh, that they had in the first State of Origin game, it showed if you play specially, there's no more specialist position than halfback. It really sets the tone and steers the, the, the team around the park, and that's what Prince did tonight. And allowed, uh, uh, and allowed, uh, do- sorry, allowed uh, uh, Jonathan Thurston to be as creative as he yes. wanted to be, which he was denied in the first that's game right. because he had to steer the team around the paddock. <laughs> they were so, all, yeah. They were so, all over them like a rash. All over the them, yeah. Time. Now, when you look at the Blues lineup. I mean, the sooner Gaznia goes to France, the happier. Oh, the better. The, yeah, better. the better. Yeah. Uh, I believe there's plenty there with uh, brown polish who can come in and fill his shoes. Uh, yeah. We've mentioned two tonight, yeah. Josh and Slippery, two Morris. Yeah. Then you've got to look at... I, I think Peter Wallace is not able to play at this level. I mean, mm. it's hard to tell in a losing team. It's either Wallace stays and Bird goes, yeah. or or Bird does something like play lock. And Well, Bird's not a 5'8". No. You know, no, there was a lot doesn't. of spark when Gidley went out there as 5'8", and Bird moved to lock. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's the configuration that Bellamy will be looking for to, as their starting attack uh, for Origin 3. And, of course, Bellamy's completely been completely exposed as a, a rugby league... A fraud. A f- <laughs> rugby league fraud. That's right. Well, Roy, it's been a fantastic night up here. Yeah. Uh, we always love it coming to Queensland. I love Lane coming Pack. to Queensland. Oh, I, 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 there's nothing better than seeing Queensland win in Queensland. I know. There's something because that's what, it, well, that's what's great about being an Australian, isn't it? It is. It's fantastic. Oh, and I'll tell you what, this has re-injected life into the series because it yes. looked a pretty dull affair it did. coming off the back of that uh, New South Wales yeah. win first time out. And wouldn't it be great to see Origin 3 either at Lithgow or Auckland? A, a neutral, just, a just neutral experiment. Place. Yeah, Lithgow or Auckland, yeah. with the Morris twins running out. Of oh, the, the Morris twins have got to be there. They'll yeah. be the first picked. Now Bellamy will build a team around them, because I tell you what, they have this uncanny ability to know where the other one is all the time. <laughs> with that thought, uh, look there it is, League lovers. Origin two in two thousand eight, crack box and buried. The winners tonight, a fantastic performance by the Queensland Maroons. The tune, wait for it, thirty blot. 30, zip, 30, don't argue. Congratulations, Captain Cam. Simply call me Cam Smith. And congratulations to Super Coach Mal Meninga. The series in 2008, the Origin Series, stands at one apiece as we sign off from the steaming porridge pot of... Lang Park, Suncorp, can I thank on behalf of a grateful nation. Nina Exarian for the buttons and production. Fantastic job again, Nina. King Wally Otto in the soundproof booth. Rugby League's great friend, Dare Jennings on the scoreboard. And finally, my colleague in league, rampaging Roy, Sicko Slavin. We take this opportunity to remind football freaks this sporting life hits the airwaves this Sunday, tip off time, 2 pm. And we'll leave you tonight and say thanks for joining us for Origin 2 in 2008. Why not make a date for the final one, Origin 3, on July the 2nd? And we sign off, as always, with a simple reminder that Triple J is spot by now. 
So there you have it, Australia. Another wonderful chapter sandblasted onto the marble pages of rugby league's history. What a read. Tonight's State of Origin Clash was brought to you by the Jack Gibson Foundation, the Jack Gibson Museum, the Jack Gibson Walk Against Want, the Jack Gibson Dream Team Experience, the Jack Gibson Heritage Trust. Remember to keep league real, kids. The Jack Gibson Statue Committee Incorporated. The Jack Gibson Musical Scholarship for the Trumpet. The Jack Gibson International School for the Study of Time. The Jack Gibson Wildlife Preserve, Canman 2, South Australia. The Jack Gibson Memorial Fund for Developing the Game in Korea. The Jack Gibson Prize for Rugby League Literature. The AFL and the Jack Gibson Bank. Thanks, everyone. And keep those donations rolling in. And finally, Australia, join us again when this sporting life continues the celebration of 100 years of rugby league hatred and the legacy of Jack in the very near future. Bye now.